The following content are the expressed thoughts, views, ideas, and opinions of the individuals and guests of the Nerds Have Spoken podcast. This podcast may contain adult language and themes not suitable for children under the age of 17. Viewer and listener discretion is advised. Please stand by while we wait for the cast of the Nerds Have Spoken. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the show. Yeah, man. So, Rafi, what'd you, how'd you uh, like to hang out last night? It was pretty cool, man, but uh, my son, for some reason, just didn't want to go to bed. And uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was doing the whole – well, no, the AC's back up. Okay. Yeah, the, the AC's oh, back God. up. We got the AC back up on, uh, I think it was Monday. Uh, yeah, Monday. Monday uh, after work, we were able to get the AC back up. So we were all thanking God because in, in, like, five or ten minutes it was like you could hang meat in this house and it was so good so good everybody's Dude, I, I can see the next there. family photo all you guys in like diapers just sitting there with the weird, <laughs> like, you know what i mean like those weird pictures you families do <laughs> but um now we got the ac back up but for some reason last night he was just like all right man it's on like i signed off i gave him a quick bath and usually, you know, I just lay out with him for a little while, calm him down, and he just, you know, falls out on his own. 9 o'clock, 9.15, he's usually good. And I'm like, all right, I'll sign in back in with the fellas. 10 o'clock hits, 10.30 hits, 11 o'clock hits. My eyelids, my eyelids start getting kind of heavy. And I'm like, all right, I got a feeling this isn't going to happen. So uh, next thing you know, we're both freaking sprawled out across the bed and knocked the hell out. <laughs> I wake up, it's like eight o'clock this morning. He's sideways. I'm I'm you know, vertical. It's uh you know, I was like, well, usually I, sweating. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, but I didn't get to sign back on, but it was fun, man. It was it was fun, it was good to hear Dave again. You know, I missed that dude. He was yeah, he was dude. in he was in yesterday last night. Yeah, he yeah. was there for a while last night. Cool. He he That's popped exciting. out, he was in there for a while. And then he left for a bit and popped back in again, and then he was like kind of in and out. Yeah, he's he's a he's a staple, man. He's one of the like when I first when I first kind of like came out of my little shell. Um, he's one of the first people that helped me become social. You know, he's one of the first people that I that I gravitated to, and uh, you know to hear his voice again and hear him, you know, talking and joking and stuff like that again. It was pretty good to hear him pretty good nice. yeah i only get to talk to him for like a few minutes at a time because either i'm working or he's doing something or you know mm-hmm. things just haven't and i haven't seen him since i went to that to his house you know and that was a while back already so mm-hmm. it's good to hear his voice oh yeah dude it's always good talking to him we got this little motu chat and we were all talking about like the funny shit about um uh what is it uh everybody went to zolo a bunch of our friends went to zolo interesting they probably bought a lot of he-man stuff there too i bet dude you i gotta tell you this i gotta tell you this i'm in this chat right and they're all talking about zolocon now i'm i'm i was gonna go but i'm gonna be honest with you i totally forgot i totally forgot my wife even had it on her calendar ready to go and i totally totally forgot um until the day it happened so it was like, you know, I'm waking up, scratching my head at like 11 o'clock in the morning. And I see the calendar. I'm like, oh, crap, it's Zolocon today. And I'm sure everybody that was down there. Anyway, to make a long story short, I'm on the chat with these guys last night. And Chuck pulls up a picture of an action figure. Of course, Chuck. <laughs> a freaking dude was there making his own action figure. He was making custom figures. Oh, dude, but- I forgot about that. <laughs> And I see this one action figure, and, you know, it's got a Darth Vader head. So I'm like, all right, it's pretty interesting. Let me look at this. It's got, like, a Motu body. With with a Vader head. With a from, fucking shaft of a fucking neck of a dick. Like. <laughs> from the shoulders up, it's a dildo, dude. Oh, The guy molded the penis head into a Darth Vader Vader's helmet. Vader's head. <laughs> Dude, did you see the picture where he posted like uh, what was it? 
uh, there was a picture of a classic Motu fucking He Man, butt ass naked, like little fucking dick and all. Schwartz, with his Schwartz out. Wow. It was- yeah, yeah, just like all hanging out, like and everything. And then, like that, Chuck's like, oh, that's some like cool shit. And I'm like, nah, that's weird, dude. Like, that's yeah. freaking weird. weird. Why would I want to buy a dildo statue of Darth Vader? That's like, <laughs> yeah. This Motu, this, this, this He Man with his junk out. And I'm sitting there looking at it like, if He Man were on steroids, this would be anatomically correct. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder about him. <laughs> you gotta love him to death, but yeah. he's just. <laughs> It's apparent he's like into weird shit. So like, shout out like, to Chuck, man. Yeah, because me and him have, have you know have conservative <laughs> tendencies, and then then he does some crazy you know kink shit. <laughs> to post kinky shit on. You know, to, to, like, he's on, Chuck's what? on another level, bro. Chuck's on another level, man. He, he, <laughs> he's on another plane. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? This is Jason Lowry on the Nerds Has Spoken. I'm here with my partners in crime this week. I got some Mr. The Vendetta, and I got some Coco Suave. How you guys doing? All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Doing, doing swim. good. <laughs> doing good. I'm Keeping here with cool. you guys. Got, I'm being sandwiched by two different fans, so I'm cool. Nice. <laughs> I, dude, I kind of feel left out. I may have to, like, switch it up a little bit, like a little, like, Oreo sandwich going on. <laughs> a little Lowry sandwich going on. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we should name this episode oreo or something fucked up um <laughs> anyways <laughs> oh word a double stuff oreo i like that double call it double oreo. stuffed <laughs> oh, i like that i like that good job you good job oh yeah oh yeah all right so uh vendetta tell yes, us how sir. your week was well uh like i said before AC is back up. Kids are in a better mood. That's what's up. Nobody's balls are sticking to their leg or nothing. Nah, like man. With no, no more DJ Salty Nuts walking around the house. <laughs> no hot Legs balls. rubbing together. No, uh, you know, drips of sweat when you're just waving a hi to somebody. None of that stuff. Mm. You know, we're back up. And now, now you can hang a side of beef in this house. It's probably, I don't know, 64, maybe 63 degrees in here. It's, oh. it's, yeah, it's freaking awesome. It's like, I want to put a blanket on right now and just take a nap. Hell yeah. It's great. Um, other than that, it, you know, the week was usually busy. Work was, was, was pretty busy. Mm-hmm. Um, thank goodness, because that's a good sign. Okay. Uh, and, you know, pretty much uh, the ordinary stuff. Good nice, week. Dude, nice. Good week. All right, no so bad drama. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> right. It, it's still it's still Sunday, so we can always throw something. <laughs> What's up, Coco? How was your week? It's been slow. Um, pretty much just you know, since it's a non payday week, obviously you're trying your best to <laughs> to play to, to not overspend <laughs> until you know it gets closer mm. to next week, which is so. This week it's all week. ramen. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm, I'm, a lot of hanging out with the parents, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eating mm. home cooking at, at, at the parents. So, uh, yeah, behaved really. Uh, slow, slow work week. Um, and that's dangerous because you know what it is when when a work week is slow, it, it means that at some point, <laughs> it's, it's yeah, gonna, all hell's gonna break loose. You know exactly. The 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 we we I hit a famine week, which is weird because I it usually is feast. So, when when this happens, I feel like next week is going to be the the fire drinking out of a fire hose week, you know, <laughs> instead of drinking out of a fountain week, where the work is just like, oh, Tetris, Tetris, please somebody throw me a line. <laughs> but other than that, oh, um, yeah, there was a there was a kind of an emergency situation that happened in the in here. Uh, I'm glad things worked out can't really get into it but I'm just glad that yeah that was the 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 scare of the week so but every everything everything turned out fine and we're 
good to go. Good. Good. But other than that, um, yeah, no, about this time, really, I get sad because it's usually around this time I start thinking about what SDCC is going to be like. Even if I didn't right. get tickets to go in, you know, I could, I, I, you know, you're trying to figure out what the heck, you know, being exclusive is out there. And this is the part where I'm like, all right, how much, you know, uh, OnlyFans do I got to do to buy the exclusive <laughs> <laughs> for this year? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Start breaking out. Start breaking out. Like K1, like K1. Support my OnlyFans. Exactly. I'm like, mm, what's Super Seven gonna do this? Hasbro, Lego Funko. You know who who's gonna be the? <laughs> which one of these company and boots is gonna have the the crazy exclusive that I have well, to have? It is con season, so I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised to start seeing like. Weak old sweaty laundry from the vendetta, like <laughs> trying to sell it, and then like, and then you'll like uh, uh, here, um, you know, uh, rentmybathtowel.com or something. Like that. <laughs> wow. Screw only fans. Rent my rent my towels. Right. Bring them back when they're washed. Like fuck it. You know? yeah. yeah, no, that 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 was pretty much my week. And you know, when the good news is, anytime it's a slow week, that just means more red pills for myself to take. So mm. I've been eating my red pills, and I and I'm becoming better and better and better. <laughs> <laughs> On that, how's your week, Jay? I just, <laughs> Apparently not as good as yours. I mean, you know, I haven't sold any of my sweaty ass shit, but you know, <laughs> I mean, I can. I just don't think. I think people would pay me just to send it back. Like I don't know. <laughs> but uh, no, my week was all right. You know, uh, it was kind of slow this week. I started doing some training and stuff they wanted me to do, so I'm kind of doing the yeah. first time in a while. We didn't go live for obvious reasons. Maybe I'll get into it. Maybe I won't. <laughs> if you were there, you were there. Yeah, no, don't ever put me live in those situations where I'm too free. Oh, dude, like, <laughs> it was and cool as hell. I get like, I get canceled and a whole bunch of other shit. Dude, I, I, I ordered a shirt that says, am I canceled yet? Because I'm just waiting for that shit to happen. Uh, uh, but yeah, so I, um, we all kind of had a hangout last night, you know, just kind of bullshit. Oh, first off, Friday night, Bethany Watt and I watched Space Jam. <laughs> Um, it seemed like the first 20 minutes of the movie was LeBron telling everybody how great he was. And then like the no. next 20 minutes after that was Don Cheadle basically saying that's still debatable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so long story short, um, I won't get into it too much. The movie was okay. The first one was way better. Um, I think they tried too hard with this one. Um, they definitely tried too hard to make it seem like it was the first one, but it wasn't. Um, I just there was something I just couldn't get into. It. I don't know if it was the music, if it was the story, or what. I'm just sitting here watching it, and it maybe just because I think Le- LeBron's a piece of shit. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm just messing around. But no. Um, um, uh, and to all y'all broad uh, sexuals out there yeah 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 so uh, I, don't, I don't know i couldn't figure it out like i was just like there was something at me i was just like i mean it wasn't as bad as fast nine i have to give it that was it entertaining <laughs> yes um did it have its moments yes especially when like lebron's kids were saying like how good um Sorry, I just read. The, I just saw the messages. I'm like, what? Um, if you have to go, dude, you have to go. Oh no, no, that that was the incident that I couldn't really talk about, which is, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's why it's there. Yeah, I mean, everybody. There was an incident that happened where they were trying to sell Yule's yellow bathtub hanging in the background. They just couldn't get rid of it. The guy slipped and fell. Everything's good. Um, but yeah, so we ended up we we ended up watching the movie. I just I couldn't get into it. And then uh, 
Saturday, we had to hang out. Everything was cool. You know, had a good time. Had everybody on. Some interesting words were exchanged. I won't get into it too much. It was pretty fucking hilarious. Uh, it just kind of caught me off guard. Um, it's kind of like the... You always seen... Uh, you, you, it's kind of like that gif where you see, like, it shows, like, uh, the big, huge black guy in the background. You see the tiny little white girl, and she's, like, looking up at the dude. Like, yeah, it was like one of those moments. So, um, yeah, so it was funny as shit. So I, um, we had to hang out. Everything was fun. We had a good time. There was a lot of people on. Shout out to everybody that popped on last night. It was a good time. Shout out to the toy mechanics. A bunch of those guys popped on. Love those dudes. Mm-hmm. They were great. They popped on, you know, some some of our fellow friends over the realm, you know, some castmates here popped on. So we all had a good time bullshitting. Um, I didn't get to bed till like three o'clock this morning, so I was pretty tired. And I was I fortunate forgot... enough to be around when we when that one artist was there showing his art. That guy was. Cool. Oh, yeah. So Brandon and I can't remember his last name. We can share his info. This guy does some phenomenal shit. Uh, I don't know, Ralph, if you were there or not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, dude, he was sharing his pictures, and, then oh, I'm my sure. God, he needs to get a booth at TFCon and sell shit. Mm-hmm. I'm calling you out, Brandon. Do that shit. Um, yes. So he was showing his pictures of all this art he does. Like, it's great shit. And he does commissions. He does everything. He just doesn't, like, self-promote, but he's starting to do it and everything. He's starting to get into it, and I think he wants to start making money from it. So... Um, hit him up, uh, look into it. Um, so that, you know, he was kind of showing that last night. And what's kind of cool is, um, remember, a lot of people don't realize I'm making a Force Ghost New York Mike figure from a Black Series Obi-Wan. And so I commissioned a guy last night to start making the head sculpt. So shout out to those guys. So, uh, I'm getting a head. I'm getting head sculpts made for that for different figures of New York Mike. So, nice. That's what's up. Um, and I, from what I understood, I'll be able to get the STL files too. So if that's the case, then we can probably get some more if anybody wants some. So I'm I'm still trying to work out some of the deal stuff, the particulars, but um, yeah. So kind of did that all last night, and then today I kind of woke up. I, we woke up late as shit. And I woke up and I started talking to Yule about everything. Hopped in the shower and I forgot we had a cookout at noon. <laughs> so we ended up, it was funny as hell. So we, uh, it was our our friend Harold, it's his wife, Petra, her birthday. Shout out to her. Happy birthday to her. And so we, uh, we went to a, this big old cookout. I mean, we it was at a park and everything. We rented like a, a shelter space. Dude, they had, uh, it was all catered food and everything, like barbecue and all this other shit. Some people, there were some, there was like a plethora of shit. Yeah, that's a big word for some people. Um, but it was like a variety of shit, right? And there was like, there was like barbecue chicken. There was like fried chicken. There was like some Mexican food. And I'm like, fuck, I need to come here more often. Than some shit. <laughs> so like, um, we ended up eating. It was a good time. It the weather has been phenomenal today so far. It's been about 75, and there's like a Whoa. light breeze. Yeah. And so we've been outside, and there was a storm last night. So I guess it was it kind of chilled everything out. So, yeah, we ended up doing that and um, the cookout. We had some good food, kind of hung out, saw some people we haven't seen in a while, met some new people. Um, there were balloon fights. Um, I may or may not have made a kid fall on the ground by hitting him in the face with a water balloon. Um, <laughs> like I kept telling them, I kept telling them, I said, have you guys, oh yeah, what did you say? Remember back in SNL, those aren't condoms, those are balloons for a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was funny as hell, like I kept trying to get them to play water balloon roulette. Do you remember that shit back in the day? Where you take like a water balloon, we used to do it with like bows and arrows too. We would throw that shit up in the sky and wait until it's starting to come back down. And then we wait till it starts to free fall back down. And then we all like scatter. 
and, but the problem is you had to sit and wait the longest and whoever waits the longest without getting hit with the balloon wins, but the kids wouldn't go for it. So they all ran. <laughs> of course they all ran. Before. They all ran. No, but yeah, so It'd it was funny shit. They, they have to these days. They got cell phones. <laughs> To get to cell phones. <laughs> Back then, when we didn't have cell phones, you get anything wet. <laughs> oh yeah, but yeah, it was funny as hell. Like these kids, it was cool to see. It was cool to see kids outside, not playing on cell phones and actually playing like water balloons. Fucking, it was a good old time, dude. And it was funny as hell because, <clears throat> like, what was it? Um, I mean, you guys know we have a diverse. We have a diverse amongst friends. I mean, we have a lot of different friends. So anyways, it was funny as hell because we get there and then we got some looks from some people because we were the only white people there. <laughs> they were trying to figure out who we were. And uh, it was funny as hell. So like, you know, we they we got introduced and everything else and everything was cool. But it was just like, it was like going to a cookout in the hood and you're white and you've never, you, you, you've never seen half the people before. So it was funny as hell, but then they realized we were cool. So it was funny as shit. So we ended up hanging out doing that today. And um, and then we came back here, I had to get some things done and that's pretty much been about my week. So it's definitely been interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Say the least. Um, so uh, why don't we go ahead and get in the halls? Real quick. Uh oh. Guys, what time is it? Coco Smooth, what time is it? I think it's time to nerd up or shut up. <laughs> golf clap, golf clap. Oh, man. All right, so let's get into it this week. It's kind of slow going on right now. There's not, there hasn't really been weird news, which I find very strange lately. It's, it's like the calm before the storm. The storm, right? I went for some really dumb shit. Well, um, there really was some dumb shit that happened last night if you guys weren't paying attention. I mean, I wouldn't have, I only paid attention because it's my team that was involved. But in your neck of the woods, Jay, the, at DC, they had to cancel the game. The, they had to, remember? Because the shots, the three, the, it was the Padres versus the Nationals, and they had to suspend Oh, the oh, yeah, yeah. oh, I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. I forgot mm-hmm. about that. So go ahead, you'll go, our, our Coco, go ahead and tell them about that. Like what happened? Yeah. So basically <laughs> <laughs> You froze. No way. Yeah. Uh, dude, you, <laughs> dude, you dude, you froze. You said all we heard was basically you're like this. And then it just sat like that. And then all of a sudden you're, and all of a sudden you start going like this. Like, what? Like, do we just smile and nod? Like, you know, it was just a, it was a weird lag so, thing. For <laughs> so, so, anyways, go ahead, continue. What, what did, what had happened? Here we go. It's gonna happen. So the Padres, they were in the middle of a, a game with the Nationals at Washington, and um, there were shots fired outside. And yeah. after that, they had to suspend, it, stop everything, and. Uh, they reported originally that there were four people who got shot, um, but later it turned when upon further review it was just three. Not like that was any. You know I mean? <laughs> it's still bad that that three people got you know shot outside, and so that was the the, the kind of fuckery that took place, you know in some, you know yesterday. Some crazy shit. Like why the fuck would you do that? Especially at, like a baseball. right. Speaking of that, another fuckery incident took place. At, I think Yankee Stadium. You saw what you heard. What happened, right? Um, what it was raining, and I, I guess the fans. Don't follow baseball quite as much. So go ahead. The fans threw uh, a baseball at one of the players, the Boston Red Sox players, in in the middle of the the thing. And so, from my understanding, I don't know what happened afterwards, but allegedly the manager is like, "Man, if your fans are going to be throwing shit at our guys, we, we you know, we 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 we're out." And I think he, the manager pulled the rest of the team. I don't know what's go, if they suspended the game or not. But from my understanding, they're going to suspend it anyway because it was raining. It looked like it was raining. Yeah, it had like a little, mad long delay. They, yeah. You're like, just for that, we're going to lead the people in the stands while the lightning's going and <laughs> let God sort them out. <laughs> <I know. laughs> right. 
<laughs> That's what's so, yeah, so that, shot yeah. about that thing. I've, I've been kicked out. I was actually kicked out of Fenway Park. Um, <laughs> was yeah. it for streaking or? <laughs> no, actually, um, I was. I was. All right. I, you know, I don't belong in Boston. Um, I'm gonna straight up. I'm gonna straight up say it. Um, be, you know, I don't belong in Boston. I just don't belong in Boston. Um, I went up with a friend of mine to watch a baseball game, and of course, I'm there in all my Yankee gear. So I asked. I I asked for it. I'm not gonna lie, but I asked. I asked for it. Right. And there was this little about two rows up from us. There was this little Eminem looking guy. You know, and, uh, you know, he, he kept trying to give it to us. And, you know, at the time that he was talking that crap, uh, the Red Sox were up two runs and they had two guys on. So he turns around and he looks at me. This is like the 18th time. And he goes, you feeling that? You feeling that? You wasted your trip all the way up here? So finally, I just couldn't help it. You know, some expletives involved, but I'm trying to keep the PG. Uh, I finally, I couldn't take his ass anymore. So I just turned around and said, won't you sit the F down before I make you sit the F down? <laughs> so now 46 Red Sox fans get up <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell did I just do? If I would have just kept my mouth shut, I'd make it through the ninth inning. But this is obviously not going to happen now. Right. So everybody's sitting there and join off and say, go back, you know, all this, like really giving it to us. Now, I've been a Yankee fan my whole life. And uh, every time I've been to Yankee Stadium, we've never, that I can remember without, you know, sober anyway, we've never abused Red Sox fans like that. You know, that I, you know, that I can remember. And this is going back to the, the 80s when the Yankees were terrible. We never abused Red Sox fans like that. These people were coming at me hard. And by about middle of the seventh, I just couldn't take it no more. I look, my old boy turned around again. I said, bro, you say one thing. Like, you're going to be wearing my fits. And he just came at me. And, you know, I, I reached across. Somehow I just <laughs> dove at him. And I just grabbed him by the shirt. When I start wailing on him. And next thing you know, the two of us are escorted. And we're sitting in uh, Fenway Park Jail. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, this whole thing ensued. And I can't go back. I can't go back. So I, know, I don't regret so, an ounce of it. That's so, so funny. I, I, so I got two questions for that. Sorry, you. I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, one, how old was the person? And two, was he in a wheelchair? Like, um, I, I so he, he wasn't. He wasn't in a wheelchair. The age, the age. He was younger than me. He had to have been. He was younger than me. But please don't say he was much, a toddler. No, <laughs> he, had, he was maybe a year or two younger than me, I'm going to say. Um, but he was a total punk, you know, just a total punk. And, you know, I just, I, yeah, I, I had, a, you know, I just, I couldn't hold myself. Yeah, dude, I would have been like, <laughs> how do you like the adults, bitch? <laughs> dude, I've seen Yankee games everywhere, bro. I've been to Baltimore. I've been as far south as Miami. Like I've seen Yankee games all over the place, dude. Never, never, except in Boston. I went to so, both parks in Chicago. Both parks in Chicago. Chicago never had that issue. Boston, I can't go back. So you're saying nowadays everybody talks like they got something to say, but the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can I tell you good. this, that was not the real Slim Shady because he couldn't stand up. So he was in the wheelchair, you admit it. That's fucked up, dude. Like, he wasn't in the wheelchair. He had those uh Did he have legs at least? Like I mean Yeah, oh yeah, he had legs. He had legs. He had legs. <laughs> Yeah, like. <laughs> I mean, so did it come into like an insult war? Like he's like, I'm gonna kick your ass. You're like, you're, you mean you're gonna wheel it up there? It was, yeah. It was, it was when he like all that other crap that he was saying, calling me, you know, four letter words and all that other stuff. I could take that, you know, I could take that. I'm wearing Yankee garb. I'm in Boston. I'm asking for it. But when he got personal and then he started to threaten, nah, bro, not here. Yeah. 
You're like, that's when I kicked that fucker down the steps. <laughs> Basically, I threw myself at him. Now, see, this was this was the late 90s. So I was still in some shape. Like, I was still in some pretty decent shape. The, the full dad bod had not come in yet. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I dove across two, I dove across two two aisles and I, I caught my man with the right that he was he was certainly not the real slam shady. <laughs> I'm telling you the eight mile bitch. <laughs> yeah, you caught him with the right. So what happened to the left? Did he block it with his helmet? Like I'm just curious. No, the left I was trying to brace myself because you know I was in midair and I was about to eat a chair. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Wow. But it was some, it was some WWE shit. shit. <laughs> it was some straight oh WWE God. shit. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Do you guys follow WWE at all? I don't quite as much follow it. Not, not so much um, these days. So speaking of WWE, I don't know if you guys saw this. Uh, yeah, WWE star Jimmy Uso arrested for another DUI in Florida. This guy gets into a lot of trouble from what I've been reading. Hmm. So... Apparently, he was going 86 in a 45 in 2019. Wow. And then he – and dude, this guy's only 35, so apparently he's got some problems because the police got him for failure to uh, – running a red light and going 50 in a 35 on Monday night. Uh, I guess this was just recently. And he had a blood alcohol level of 0. 0.205. Mm, um, almost twice. Yeah. Yeah. So that guy's fucked, literally. Yeah. Um, so he went. He, I guess they he went to jail or whatever. But um, that sucks. Yeah, he kind of needs to though, man. That's he needs to straighten that shit up. He's probably getting he's lucky shit he didn't kill money. nobody. Yeah, but it's what I'm saying about mental health, man. I said last week, and I'm saying it again, man. The mental health is a real big thing. I'm sure you heard about uh. Richard, Richard Sherman. Richard yeah. Sherman. <laughs> I knew you were yeah. Richard Sherman was gonna give his, his father in law a two piece for some extra fries. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, he was he was ready, he was banging on that door. He was like, yo, come out here, let's talk about this. And uh, you know, according to reports, his father in law was sitting inside the house with his hand cannon ready to, to do damage. Oh shit. He sprayed yeah. him with, he said he sprayed him with some pepper spray her. Uh, yeah, he, oh, he did, was it? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And Richard yeah, Sherman is though. huge. He's huge he in the to, community. Um, he does a lot of community work. Does he? Yeah, that's why he was able to get out without bail because of you know years of mm-hmm. being a pillar of the community. But yeah, he he uh I hope that his um that he's able to sort out his stuff because I can imagine that and this is just what I'm imagining. He was on top of the world, you know, like now he's trying to probably figure out, well, what the heck am I now that I'm no longer going to, it doesn't look like my career is going anywhere anymore. Probably took too many hits in the head too from, you know, Mm -hmm. collisions probably causing him to have CTE emotional issues going on. Yeah. Yeah. So before we get too off track, Mm -hmm. why don't we actually get in the hole? <laughs> All right. Sorry, sorry. I, I as soon as you said WWE, and I was like, "Ooh, segue." Um, <laughs> right. Anyways, how was your halls this week? So let's go to. We got time. <laughs> All right. Fuck you it. Go. You go last. All right. Yeah. Vendetta. What did you get? Um, I got okay. a, 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 I got a couple little things here. Um, real quick story. Um, I was in a grocery store and uh, I saw something that I just had to have. Um, it was uh, the local Walgreens here. Um, my very first car was a, a, a little Honda hatchback, a CDCC. I don't CDC. know if you remember. Yeah. Oh, I remember that was my yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, walking down, I'm walking down the aisles at, at Walgreens and this little guy, dude, no way! Yeah, man. Wow! My Look at very that. That's cool. First car. It, it was it, exactly color and everything, and I was like, "No way! I gotta have it." So I picked this guy up. I picked this guy up at last. Local... Yeah, man. Yeah, That's a cool. lot of good memories in that thing. Um, I also got uh, Kingdom Tracks, and mm. uh, 
I'll get into that in a minute. Is it the same yeah. as mine? He's got like the, he's got the, uh, he, he's got the messed up legs. I take it, dude. They x transbots Ali the heck out of this thing. Oh, Yo. oh no, Coco, watch, watch this shit. Oh, dude, it's that's so supposed real. to be half the leg, and there's no tab to tab it in. Nothing. That's wow. where the foot is. So they're, are they going to come up with a third party thing to fix that shit? I <laughs> hope should. to God they do, because this thing, this, this. Let me tell you something. This Earthrise line, this, these, these, like this Earthrise, this whole war for Cybertron line. This is the really, worst one. Has really impressed the heck out of me. Really left a mark on me so much that I've gone down that rabbit hole. Like I've started collecting them. Yeah. But this right here, y'all could have done the better. Step back. Yeah. Because right, aesthetically. Aesthetically, I'm pretty happy with it, but dude, like yeah, this whole that's this, no good. This, so nah, bro. Like like he has from the waist up, it's it, dude. The joints are good. It's nice. And yeah, good. and I'll, I'll get it to it on mine, but <clears throat> it's no amount of floor wax can fix that. Dude, no, what is with this it doesn't cavernous? Tan. What is this cavernous opening here between the foot and and the bottom of the leg, dude? Like they're not even connected. Yeah, like Conor McGregor's tibia. And yeah. Oh yeah, no shit. <laughs> exactly. Yo, he fucked that shit. Oh. <laughs> that really took me back because I was so happy with the way this this whole you know War for Cybertron line goes. But anyway, um, I also picked up. Uh, Earthrise Grapple. Oh, nice. And uh, that's what's up. <clears throat> Kingdom Inferno. Oh, dude, okay. those are good ones. Get those. Get those third-party add-on kits for those things. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll send you. I some haven't wings even opened eBay. the boxes yet. And of they're great course, figures gotta... without it. They're great without it. But um, but yeah. So anyway, go ahead, continue. <laughs> I got distracted and, by Yule's roommate. I know, that's on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is that dude nude or what? Like, I got it's a small window. I was, yeah. I was, I was bracing for like any kind of crazy moment. I was like, I hope not. <laughs> like, like that He Man moment last night, just like walking around, dangling around. Like, <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to run, interrupt you, dude. That was funny. And then last but not least, um, I found this guy online, uh, DC Universe Batman. Oh, nice. snap. Nice. Yeah, he was... Uh, get there the, you go. He was... Uh, somebody just posted him on, on one of the uh, swap sites on, on Facebook, and he was like $24 or something like that. So I was like, you know what? I don't have one. Let me get it. I need to get me a cat man and um yeah the Mr. Freeze from the earlier Mr. Freeze. Those are the only two I care about for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That was my haul for the week. Cool. Nice dude. That's pretty good. Now how many of those kingdom figures are are that particular line, like Kingdom, Siege, whatever? They didn't do a lot. It's 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 funny. Um, it's more in Kingdom line that they're doing. Like they're dropping a shit ton of stuff. Yeah. Um, I think I don't know an exact number, but I think per line they're doing like maybe fifteen to twenty figures. Um, I and this Kingdom this this Kingdom wave is more Beast Wars than anything else. Um, but they've, they've dropped a ton, a ton of good nuggets. Um, I remember, I don't know if you guys remember that poster. I don't think I have it anywhere. There was a poster, uh, that was circulating around when, when Kingdom was first, when they were talking about doing the, the Kingdom show on Netflix. And that was the first time I saw the arc transformed. It was like in a, a big cartoon poster. And in the lower left corner, I remember seeing a Gears figure. So I'm still waiting for that. You know, um, I'm still waiting for that to pop out. Um, but 
from this kingdom line, I think this is pretty much all I'm going to get. Mm. Uh, tracks, you know, a couple. I wasn't even going to get the Inferno, but I figured, you know, I dipped my toes in the water. I might as well just go all in. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Yeah. So I started copying them. And I'm I'm really happy with them. I'm really happy with them. They're they're, you know, I'm a fidgeter. I like to to you know transform and look at the different modes and every so often revisit a, 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 a you know anything on my shelves, you know, dust it, clean it, mess with it. That I you know I do that a lot. So these things are very fun. They're very fidgetable. They're very fidgetable friendly. Um, you don't have to spend a half an hour transforming one of them. And, uh, you know, I really am impressed with that tracks, man. It just. Mm. Yeah, I, I can see this. It's, it's, it's the I remember the, the feeling when um, when I was first collecting classics and um, I, I, I think it was a uh, prowl like he seems so uh, prowl and Ironhide seems so off from the. And, and that, you know, the line with him and, and Sunstreaker seems so off from the previous uh, classics mm -hmm. that I was like, okay, um, I may have to reevaluate like, you know, <laughs> the, the situation, you know. But I was so impressed with the old, the, the first Chug, like they did Rodimus so, you know, so good. Even the Star Scream and, um, you know, even the Chug Prime, Classics Prime, I thought that, you know. Mm -hmm. it, those those were fun and then yeah that engineering came out and i was like yeah you guys are either skimping out on either the engineering or the the um materials because they don't feel nearly as solid as the earlier chug figures that i'm used to you know <clears throat> buying so right what you what you end up getting jay uh, dude, it's funny. So I'm sitting here. I forgot to hit mute. It sounds like I'm unzipping my zipper. Like I'm on the counter. <laughs> no, I just got a package delivered from Amazon. I was like, ooh. Uh, so I did get a decent haul this week. So I'll go ahead and share my shit now. All right. Um, <clears throat> so obviously, I got the infamous tracks. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, nice and tight up top here. The elbows are nice and tight. Got a nice, decently swivel. tight uh, waist swivel. Then you get to the legs. And Ralphie, I don't know if yours does this. If I move it forward just, yeah. Yeah. if I move it just back just a little bit, it'll start to yeah. fall. I just put, yeah. I just put floor shit on it. But like, <laughs> floor polish, wow. Yeah, like, look at this. Yeah. Like, that's bent forward, <laughs> not the other way. Right. Um, the crazy thing is, like he said, this part, there's a tiny fucking tab. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to go over there. There's supposed to be a tiny tab right there, right? That this is supposed to tab in. But if you can see here, all it does is shear past it. It doesn't tab in. Mm -hmm. And that's what sucks about it. Like, the leg tabs good together the way they did it, right? It's not bad on the inside, right? It is what it is because of being hollow. But... Like he said, it's got the Conor McGregor fucking syndrome when it comes to the ankle. Like, look at that shit. Like, that shit just fucking dangles around. Look at this. It's got like... Wow. Yeah. This is the... I've never had a Earthrise, Kingdom, whatever figure do this. Never. And I think the MP tracks is better than this one. Like, that, that tells you something. Like, dude, look at this. I'm not kidding. Look at this. Does he bend backwards the same way? Oh, wow. <laughs> All I did was that, move it. Remember that game like back Rock in the Rock. day where you had to go <laughs> underneath the pole? <laughs> I forgot the what limbo. it was called. The limbo. limbo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, this, this thing's floppier than a drunk dick. Look at this. Look. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to get some stuff to try to fix it. Um, I don't know. There's not, yeah, there's no tab. There's a hole there for it to tab in, but it just won't tab in. The tab's too No, small. the clearance is too so, much. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I got this in the mail. Shout, uh, in the mail. Shout out to Pulse. I got some Maestro. That's what's up. Nice. Maestro. Dude, look at this. Look at the shading. I may try to buy a second one because you can take the gauntlets off. And then I may take the shading. I may take the uh, 
his necklace off and do a head swap and do a hulk with it because it's got the butterfly joints like where you can do it in the back so that's what's up um nice nice box nice box art i'm surprised they didn't make them a build a fig (laughs) yeah it's heavy too like it's real heavy it's a big box i mean to kind of give you an idea so here's uh kingdom tracks with him (laughs) and i bet you they're about the same price (laughs) <laughs> yeah probably yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see you're continuing on uh, I don't know who's more happy about this me or my wife um, so <laughs> I got one of those massager guns from Amazon just now <laughs> <laughs> no 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 um, you know we're all getting old as shit but dude this thing so I ended up catching it on sale right Dude, it does heat. It does the massage shit, fucking everything. And it's electronic. It's wireless. <laughs> no, that's not me unzipping my pants. He's got a little but here, let me thing. let me go for the reveal right here. No, I'm just kidding. So it's got all these fucking attachments that you can put on it. Nice. Like, I don't I guess it's a butt plug. I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, <laughs> yeah, some of that stuff be looking like it's uh but massage like, yeah, that, it that, looks that, like this should be on the top of it's gonna, you know, it's on the top of a bottle and it puts out like that's so. definitely for an orifice. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. And then you got this one, like this. I guess this is like the ass hammer, like I don't know. <laughs> um you got definitely like, like lopsided titties almost. Like nice. Like two little and then you got some other oh my god, dude, that is a butt plug. Look at that. What the fuck, dude? Like, I'm opening up this box. It's, like, getting worse. <laughs> oh, fuck is it? wow. Two in the pink, one in the stink? Like, I don't know. Like, uh, <laughs> Oh, I spoke too soon. I was wrong. This one's two in the pink. One. Oh, that's <laughs> the theory. Um, that's the one. But, so, anyways, yeah, I got this because, obviously, we're getting old. That is music in my face. Um, but, no, so I got this in the mail. It, I literally was opening up as you guys were talking, so it's electronic. It's got like a charger. It's got a nice case. It was on sale on Amazon, and it was like on sale from like a hundred and something down to like forty nine. So um, I was pretty excited about that because we're getting old as shit. You gotta take care of what's <laughs> coming up. Um, and shout out to Mister Chuck for doing this he was able to hook me up i got some masterverse figures oh, nice so i got skeletor right here this oh, is pretty the nice. Lord of evil. yeah it's not bad it's not a bad set for what it is i definitely it definitely needs some shading on the body so i'm definitely going to be doing that the box yeah. that they actually nice. got collectors in mind with doing this box um because you can open and close it like everything Ah, and it's got some cool box art on it. Look at that. Yeah. Now the one thing I will say though is the heads are a little small. Like they got like the uh, shrunken head syndrome a little bit. It's either that or they just got too much James. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got uh, shout out to Swamp Thing. I mean uh, Moss Man. I got him. He's pretty good. I think the Four Horsemen did this sculpt, from what I understood. Um, this one's pretty good. It's it's not bad. Uh, the only thing is, though, and it doesn't do it justice at all. I'm going to open this up. Fuck uh, does, does he smell like the, like a traditional boss man? No, but dude, look at all the accessories he comes with. Oh, because he's not flocked. This is straight yeah. smoke. Yeah. So it definitely looks like I can take this and make a um, swamp thing out. Yeah. So I'm thinking about doing that. Um, so I got him. Again, shout out to Chuck. And the way that they do these packs, it's pretty cool. Like they get they they have collectors in mind. When it came to this. So you can you can kind of open it and you can kind of keep it closed at the same time. So for the mint in box. <laughs> mint Unless you're mint in box, then you're fucked. So. 
Um, uh, shout out to this one. Uh, Mr. Chuck again got me Tila. And Tila. she's not as Tila. bad as <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm say. tired. I was like, I thought you were joking. Day. I was like, oh, Lord. No, I'm tired. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I, I can see like E and Chuck and all them in that uh, master's chat just like going ape shit right now. What the fuck, Lowry? How can you not tell? They don't even have the same hair. <laughs> yeah. So uh, she's not bad. Her arms, her arms are not. I don't know what people are going on about. Like her arms aren't crazy big. I mean, they are what, what they are. Complaint? Oh, you know, like some people are like, oh, they got man arms or they're too masculine. And I'm like, well, it is masters of the universe. Like, I don't know. But the head sculpts are pretty good. Look at this. Let me, it doesn't do it justice. Like, she looks, the paint you know, on it's actually pretty fucking good. That hair yeah, looks, looks like it's pretty, pretty on point. It looks like a Tarna, remember from uh, Heavy Metal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, so yeah. So I got that one. I, I actually got the whole wave from uh, Chuck himself. I know people are going like, "God damn, this is loud." I put it out, or fuck it, maybe I just keep it in. Let them, let them hear it. Um, they like it. They love it. The sound yeah. of victory. <laughs> and then the next one is obviously He Man. I got some He -Man. Man going on, and so, um. The box art obviously is just the same as the other ones. The box art's pretty cool. Um, I wish they would have gave you the head like this versus what's in the box. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's, a, he's, he's got a like that trippy. Justin Bieber haircut, like from back in the day. Did <laughs> um, this junk out? Uh, I don't know. Let me lift the lowing the pliable <laughs> lowing cloth just so we can see. Um, I ended up. Mm -hmm. I ended up doing a hand swap, but dude, check this out. It's really not that bad. I mean, I know people give it shit, but. Okay, it's not too bad. The pictures made him look like he had a derpy face before. Yeah, I mean, the face isn't that derpy. Just you could definitely tell um, the head is definitely small for the body. Yeah. Um, it could that do with some shading, time. I think. <laughs> It's kind of weird the way the chest is, but I think it's more along the lines of what a bodybuilder would actually look like. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, at least he doesn't have boobs, right? Who knows what happens with the cartoon? But, um... Not going to fight. <laughs> I'm more looking forward to the kids, you. the kids line. I was, I was waiting for I'm that really, one. I'm really looking forward to you. the kids line versus that line. Um, yeah, so shout out to Chuck for getting these. I appreciate it. Love that dude. Uh, no one knocked Chuck because that guy puts in hustle more than I've seen anybody do yes. before. That That's guy, uh, that guy hustles more than anybody I've seen. So, shout out to him. Love that dude. And that was fuck. Let me look around. Is that it? You know, he has to hustle because he's the most obsessed out of all of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His so, level of obsession is at an mm -hmm. eleven out oh, of ten. You know what? <laughs> I did get something else I want to show you. And Coco will be pretty excited to see this once I find it. We'll I ended see. up having to move fucking everything around last night because I was in the middle of um, uh, working on these figures and shit as soon as I find it. I don't know who cares. I'll, I'll find it. Maybe I'll show it next time. So I ended up getting some stuff from Mr. Mike McEvil. Oh, snap. Um, so I got some. I got a Havoc staff. Um, I got his customs see. are awesome. Oh, yeah, but it was the movie Havoc staff, so I got that, and then I got um, damn it, that's gonna bug me now. Where the fuck did that go? Um, yeah, so I got the Havoc staff, and then I also got um, a couple of swords. So I got uh, I got uh, He Man's sword, I got Skeletor sword from the movie, and then I got um, two Thundercat swords. But one of the Thundercats. Oh no! Here they are. Hang on. Give Check me this sight out. Here's that one. havoc stuff. Nice. Wow. Look Let at that. this be our final battle. Yeah, dude. Look at this. That's what's up. 
look at look at the detail in the paint and shit on there. he painted it and everything too mm -hmm. he 3d I prints sure them that, and paints them i make sure that he paints my stuff too <laughs> like, like, oh yeah <laughs> and here let me get the other ones i know people i'll cut the other shit out fuck it but dude check out these two swords that's what's up one of them's yeah the yeah, yeah he-man sword and then the other one awesome. this is he-man sword check that out dun, 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 dun. the Dolph Lundgren one yeah 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 and here's the Skeletor version. That's pretty awesome. Look at that dude. detail, dude. Yeah, that weathering. Dude. Yeah. Like, I have to give it to him. He even created it because I hit him up, and I was like, dude, there's, like, pits in this. He's like, I did that on purpose. I'm like, sure you did. Uh, but, no, he did it to where it actually, you could see he put pits in it. And oh, then wow. kind of weathered it to where it looked that like looks it was awesome. used. Yeah. That so, looks awesome. He, I got those two. And then... Sword on. Look at that. Give me sight beyond sight. Look at that. That looks great. Mm -hmm. So we did this for the Super 7. But somehow in shipping, because he sent me pictures and it came out fine, but somehow in shipping, the dagger broke. Oh. oh. So uh, he, look, if you notice, the eye's different. Like it's black here. Yeah. You flip it to the other side, it's white. And these are the ones with the longer handles for the new Super 7 figures. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that way, because before when he had them, the, he only used one hand. But now when you put them together, you can use both hands instead. You know, so crazy. I hit him up. I, I hit him up. And he's like, he's like, oh, dude, that sucks. He's like, I knew they were good before they already left. And I said, yeah, they just got screwed up in shipping. I said, you know, if I have to buy another one, that's fine. He goes, nah, I got you. He's like, so he hit me up. And just to kind of show you guys real quick, um, he sent me, uh, let's see here. he sent me pictures of shit. Let me count down a little bit quick so you can see it. So, dude, check this out. Look at this. Except for classics oh, wow. and origins. Whoa. So we showed those. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me make it bigger. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Wow. And so he hit me up and he goes, yeah, I'm doing these. And then also he's doing all this stuff. So he's got all these swords. He paints them, 3D prints them, everything. I have the Zodak staff. That yeah. one that he has over there. That one's pretty funny. Yeah. And then here's the origin stuff that he showed here. So, but yeah, I hit him up. He's like, yo, anything you, he's like, just let me know. Cause I told him, I said, dude, I don't want you to, cause I think he's over, I don't know if he's in England, Australia or what. It's Germany. something like that. There's Germany. Yeah. And he has to ship the ship from there to here. I'm like, dude, I don't want you just to ship that one sword back. So worst case in there, I'll just buy like another sword or something. So, uh, he's going to hook me up on that. And then, um, He's just going to send me a new sword out. No problem. That's what's that's up. For my shit. That is. That's pretty dope. That's talent and time. That guy, and he's been around, God, how long you like? Shit, honestly, he's been around since the beginning, near the beginning, down near the beginning of Classics, which yeah. is 2008. And he's one of the most premier dudes when it comes to Custom. Like, swords. Like, he's got, he's got on... Um, Shapeways, he's got a store. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, you would check this shit out. So he even has a store where it's dedicated to nothing but just the shit from masters. Look at this. He's got like everything. Like he, dude, look at this. He's got uh, um, uh, he's got the swords and everything. Fucking. God, what's his name? The ninja. Ninja. Yeah, ninja. Yeah, he's got all this shit that he makes for him too. And look at this. They got the sword of omens. Look at this. Now this these prices are unpainted. Okay. Um, but you can hit them up and you can get them painted. Um, so it, you can either you can either order them through here 
and have them delivered to you and you paint them yourself. I need those shoulder pads that he created for Man at Arms. I didn't even know he did those. Oh, these? Yeah, to make it yeah. 2000 X. That's fucking yeah. sick. I love it. So, I mean, look at this. I mean, he's got anything and everything you can think of. Yeah. Hang on one. Oh, man. I haven't bought for Mike in a while. Now it's, it looks like it's about time again. <laughs> Breaking news: Bethany's stealing my salad from dinner. <laughs> no, she no, she came in. She was checking to make sure that. Oh, I didn't want. To. Is it okay? Are you gonna eat your salad? And I'm like, no, take it. Yeah, did you, did you hear that in the background? Everybody heard at first. Call me an asshole. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> you guys saw it. Anyway, um, but yeah, dude, he, dude, look at this. Look at the ninja weapons he's doing for this. That's pretty dope. For yeah, ninja. the throwing daggers oh. are sick. Oh yeah, the Kuna. Dude, look, uh, he's got all sorts of shit. He's got cartoon classics. He's got movie, original Thundercats, like all sorts of. He even makes hands for figures. So um, I actually have, let's see here, like for classics, I got from him, I got a bunch of shit, but um, he even does like the old school looking swords and shit. He'll do like the double sword like this. He even does one for Hordak. Uh, see the, the Sword of Glory, the perfect match. So he did me those. Like those, uh, dude, he made, like I ended up paying him. He ended up putting the jewel in and like everything. So they're pretty nice. So he, if you get a chance and you want, if you want custom stuff done by him, like hit him up. He does a lot of good stuff. He's worth it. Yeah, I always get from him and DJ Force and one other guy. Those three are my mm -hmm. my big guys, but the name is. Um, but yeah, so other than you know that stuff right there, that was it for my hauls for the week, dude. So nothing, <laughs> nothing else. That's what's up. So. Uh, let's kind of get into some miscellaneous movie news, some toy news. And some Wait a minute, we forgot somebody. Coco Suave. How'd it go for you this week with the Hulk? I wanted to try to see if he <laughs> if he noticed or not, if I fucked with him. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. Go ahead. Um, Unload it. Bad. Just just all you gotta do is just dude. Coco, right, just you. just do this. Just do this. Just and just take it out and show <laughs> it. It's, it's, it's kind of like how Vendetta said it earlier. Like when he dipped his toe into something and he ended up going all in on something, right? I think last week I showed you my first Pokemon uh, pop. Mm -hmm. And um, the whole week I was contemplating I should give that pop to my cousin right now before I get myself into a hole that I shouldn't, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! So instead, the toes got I doubled in. down. <laughs> I doubled down. I got <laughs> Squirtle. There it is. <laughs> I, I got Squirtle. Yeah. <laughs> I got. Of course, I got the the, the basics. The uh, uh, Charmander. <laughs> you got to. You have to. They're the foundation, bro. Exactly. <laughs> You have to. I couldn't help myself. I was like, oh, there's some. And I even. Ooh, I don't look at how good that looks. I know, exactly. That's why I couldn't resist. So I was like, oh, it's like it's... looking at the cartoon in your hand. Exactly. And, and man, I, if they, I'm, the only one I was missing at the time because they didn't have it was Pikachu. If, I, if it was there, I would have gotten it. So, but instead, I got it. Yeah, I He looks great, though. Yeah. They even got his, the facial expressions pretty good. Good. Yeah, no, agreed. That's as, as why I couldn't help myself. Like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a couple of Grail pieces, too. Um, I don't know if you guys watch One Punch Man, but I got Lord Boros. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. The, 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 the season finale of season one right. bad guy. Yeah. Right. I'm, all I'm missing cool. now is uh, Genos, and that my my set would be complete with that. Um, if you guys will follow My Hero Academia, this is also a grail, or a real grail of mine. Um, Dobby is a convention exclusive. Um, um, if you guys keep up with the show, 
his origins is so dope that they didn't they didn't release it in America yet. But when they when you guys see where he was really from, um, he's his story his origin story is like very like the kind that you root for the bad guy because of how badly that guy got screwed over kind of situation. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like mm. I don't want to mess it up. Kind of like anybody. Thanos. Yeah, kind of you know in <laughs> in, in a way, right? And of course. I couldn't help myself. Last week, I showed you guys um, Ellen Ripley's uh, in in the uh, in the um, Charger suit, right? The the power loader suit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So now she got her nemesis, the uh, oh, the, the queen. Oh, the queen. That's so, cool. Yeah. That's cool. That does look cool. Mm-hmm. But of course, cool. I was also fortunate to get a regular Ellen Ripley too. So yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, so the short hair, the short hair one. The short hair right. one, yeah. Get away from her, you bitch! <laughs> Dude, that's gonna be your slogan now. For now. <laughs> Get away from her, you bitch! That's I'm not. I'm not kidding when I say that. I picked it up mostly so I could just be able to say that anywhere I go. So like, yeah, get away from her. <laughs> Dude, so let me ask you this: so when you walk into like your comic shop or wherever you get those, mm-hmm. and if you see someone going over there trying to take that, and you know you want it. You go over there and like drop kick him, be like, "Get away from there, you bitch!" <laughs> it's more like, "Go ahead, buy it, so that I don't spend money." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> please do stop me from spending. <laughs> but no, that wasn't it. That was that was just the that was just the pops. Now for the fun stuff, my hot toys collection. <laughs> um, I showed a couple. I previewed a couple of this stuff for you guys um, the other day. I when did hot toys that. make pocket vaginas? Like now, <laughs> <laughs> I got the Mandalorian in a rocket. Mando. Yeah, the rocket pack. Nice. Cool. That was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I like the rifle in his hand, just chilling. Yeah, get my snipe somebody cool. midair. Got that. Um, also came in. Oh, Boba. Mando and Boba Fett. Yeah, That's that looks excited. cool. That looks cool. On that iconic scene on that uh in um the Robert Rodriguez yeah scene. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The, 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 the best the, scenes on that show. It's it's all weathered. His whole getup yeah. is all weathered like a Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And he still has his missiles coming from the knee kind of thing. I so, still love that they gave him a the little pot belly too. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah. also uh Bo Katan. Oh, nice. Yes, that was cool. Dude, at an angle, it looks like she totally farted and launched in the air. <laughs> her, awesome. her stuff is weathered pretty pretty badly, too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I like I, the I, battle I, damage. Um, R2. Hmm. But you know what also came in that scene? Right. C-3PO? Luke. Luke. With Grogu. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, I can help myself. Cool. That I, that's exactly cool. why I picked this up, because I was like, I remember you when I watched to. that episode, I was like, I got pretty emotional, too. I was just like, wow. You're no like, way. I cried and I got wood at the same time. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty cool. Folks. That You know, I, I, I couldn't believe it. They, they uh, did that. I don't know if I did. I already show you guys the heavy infantry guy, too. I don't remember, but he looks damn good. Yeah, he does look good. I love that it's a bobblehead too. Like, <laughs> I know, I know, I showed you guys this guy already. I think the <laughs> IG eleven. Oh yeah, you showed yeah, us last week. Yeah, yeah. So. IG eleven. And um, Chrome. I don't know if I showed you guys this full Chrome out. Um, Mando, full best. I don't arm. remember. I don't remember you talking about. Yeah, I mean, because the, the the one that came with IG eighty eleven, I'm sorry, the IG eleven was the. the oh yeah, yeah, the standard one. matte version. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It, and that's you can cool. tell he's got the yeah, older cool. before he got pimped out gear. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, it it came with the shiny one came with this one, this little Grogu with the frog. So. <laughs> he's gonna have to eat oh. the frog. <laughs> he's gonna he, that thing. You should put another one out with like the little egg. Right. <laughs> yeah. He's popping those things like pills. 
<laughs> and that was oh i think i showed you guys this i don't know this is the last of it really this, I think it's yeah we saw that one last yeah we saw that, that one yeah that was yeah, cool. yeah 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 but yeah, that's that was it for my my haul. You know me, I got I. While you guys do the real toys, I just do the cute shit because I can't. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> speaking of getting like all emotional, getting wood and crying, did you see that uh, Hugh Jackman uh, met with? Um, yeah, uh, Feige. Uh, yeah, Feige or whatever. Yeah. Uh, apparently, they, it was going all over the internet, like people flipping the fuck out. And they showed them together, like meeting. Um, I mean, if if with all this multiverse shit, like I wouldn't mind seeing him like a quick cameo and like. Well, when you put uh, it that way, yeah, it makes Street. sense. What's that? It makes sense if they're from a multiverse Wolverine. Well, now right. they can do whatever the fuck they want. Like, yeah, I mean, I think with uh, which movie was it? With oh, Age of Ultron. You saw them kind of starting to dip their feet in the water with like mutants, mm -hmm. and then now with uh, with Black Widow, you see the uh, the Russian bear. Yeah, yeah. Ursa Major. Yeah. Ursa yeah. Major, dude, that guy's so, huge. Yeah, dude, he's seven a foot size. two. Like he's, he's big. He's a big dude, and uh, you know you see them starting to dip their feet in there with with the mutants. I think it's only think a matter of time. I think he's the first one they said in the MCU that they've introduced, but they quietly introduced it. I guess. Yeah. But then again, there was wasn't there uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch? They haven't figured out what the what the what what to do with them yet. They're yeah. keeping that under wraps still. Yeah. But what's interesting is so if you could see here, Hugh Jackman shared Boss Logic's uh, picture. Of Wolverine with the three claws, right? And then the next picture, it shows him and Feige together, and that was from Hugh Jackman's actual page. So I was just like, dude. Yeah, he's dipping his foot in the water. He's definitely. Like, he's, and then look yeah. at this. Oh yeah, something's gonna happen. And it's just like, I, you know, I mean, I know a lot of people are like, oh, don't bring him back. That X Men universe was shitty. Like, dude, like, I want to see, like, Hugh Jackman in, like, the MCU just fuck shit up. Could you imagine with, like, some production money behind it? Like, some serious writers and, like, serious people behind, like, what they could do with that? Oh. Imagine him in the in 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 next, uh, in the next, uh, what's his name? Oh, my gosh. It was on the tip of my tongue. Deadpool X Men. Yes, the next Deadpool, the next Deadpool movie. Mm -hmm. Imagine if like they bring the two of those characters together so much that they've been poking fun at each other all these years. Imagine like the next movie somehow, some way they get them. They have to have them two together. They have. Dude, they to. must. It's a must. They could get it's rid of everybody must. else, I guess. But yeah, but those two guys, the, the, the popular enough to have staying power. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you guys saw this or not. I'll kind of share this too, since we're going through like movie and MCU and other miscellaneous shit. Did you see here that supposedly? I don't know if this was bullshit or not. I forgot who sh it was. Me or someone who shared this. But they said supposedly there was a no ha no way home trailer after Loki finale. I don't remember ever seeing that. I don't remember seeing it either. I don't know if it was missed. Like I don't know. I, all I knew is is that uh, Grace Randolph, like, she does a lot of reviews. She's very well respected, but goddamn, she's got an annoying voice. Um, but so she um, she goes, yes, there is a teaser trailer, and so um, I guess she shared it. I don't know. Like, I, it's kind of interesting. I don't want to play it because I don't want to get flagged. Ah. You know how that shit goes. Yeah. But then here's like some pictures from the cast. To me, this looks like all down here, they're like older versions of the younger cast. Do you see that? Yeah. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. So anyway. Um so have you have you guys been seeing this uh Karen Jillian uh some John uh, John Wick type movie called Gunpowder Milkshake. Have you seen this yet on Netflix? 
I've heard rumors about this. I've heard chatter, but nothing. It's out. It's out right now on Netflix. Oh, yeah? And uh, so long story short, it's basically like she's the female version of John Wick. And so anyways, it got green light. Now, this is like a week or so old, but it was a green light for them to go ahead and do a sequel. So, I mean, dude, look at that cast. It's got Karen Gillian, Lena Headley, uh, who is it? Michelle Young, Angela Bassett, Paul Giamatti. I do. It's got a lot. Who is that? Car. It's kind of hard to see. Carla something. I can't see that. Gugino or something. Yeah, like Carla that. Gugino. She she was in uh she was yeah. in uh the Watchmen. Yeah, she's right there on the left. Yeah. So apparently, it's supposed to be pretty interesting. I haven't watched it yet. Beth and I are gonna watch it. Um, I haven't watched it yet either. Oh yeah, yeah. So we, um, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. And I don't know. Let's see here next. Well, I'm glad you guys are watching it. <laughs> well, I know, I know you are. I'm just kind of curious to see how how much they're gonna rip off John Wick. So. Well, you knew it had to happen. You knew it had to happen. You know, anything you can do, I can do better. That had to happen. That's right. You knew that, you knew that had to happen. <clears throat> and I could do it better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no comment. But anyway. Um, yeah. So let's see here. Let's continue down. Uh, what is this? I'm looking at some of this shit and it's just getting crazy. So anyways, I don't know if you guys saw. Let's see if it's actually going to pop up. Uh, yeah, did you, did you see about this? The Silver Hawks, yes, I saw What did you think of a, this? A new animation coming out. <clears throat> I talked to I'm a, excited, I'm a couple excited. of my, my buddies about this, and um, I started to ask a couple of questions, you know, because while I wasn't the biggest Silver Hawks fan, like mm -hmm. I'm not saying I didn't like it, but it didn't, you know, it, it wasn't He Man or Thundercats to me. A lot of it's because at, at that point I was already kind of, grow, you know, a little bit older. You know what I mean? So it didn't really resonate with me as much as it did to others. Mm -hmm. um, and then also Silverhawks was basically Thundercats in space too, and Monstars just Mumra and yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, you know, so I, I started to ask um, one of my one of my friends. Um, uh, uh, if you guys, you guys probably remember him, the well dressed nerd. Mickey's. Uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. I asked them. Um, I was just wondering, bro. Like, from back in the day, did you feel any offense that the the only black silver hawk that they had, they called them hot wing? <laughs> oh, oh my god! I forgot about. That. And he said, I "Forgot about that." Oh too. man, I totally forgot about it. You're out. How did that get? And he goes, "How did that get past me?" Now that I think about it. <laughs> that is kind of suspect. <laughs> so, wow. That's not the only brother in space they call Hot Wing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> terrible. Just saying, just terrible. Even in cartoons when we were kids, they were throwing some fucking stereotype <laughs> shit. Wow. Uh, I was All like, right, so who who's in for this? I'm, I'm gonna watch in. it. I'm down to watch it, of course. Especially if they updated the animation. Like, yeah. Style animation a little yeah. bit that'd be cool. so, yeah, it depends though if they, if they if they start pulling some you know sjw shit i'm like i'm out <laughs> <Can't> do it <laughs> Stop. oh yeah so uh the official what's her uh halle bailey yeah dude that sounds too close to halle berry it's kind of weird so uh this is the first official images of hers the little mermaid but i don't see her topless well, I'm sure they, you know, they probably doctor, put she shells covering. Yeah, they they doctor that situation. They're not just gonna leave them. But that's kind of cool, though. I mean, I'm, I mean, Bethany's a huge like Disney. Oh my God, and Melissa McCarthy is in that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, Aquafina's in it. Oh, it's gonna be one of those type of movies. Hopefully, they're a fish or something or something. I I hope that everybody who's gonna watch is gonna enjoy it or something. Yeah, I mean, this isn't for me. I mean, my my wife loves Disney live action films and stuff, so 
I mean, obviously, happy wife, happy life. Yeah. I'm waiting to get like a boomerang shoe hit at me or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she, um, yeah, she's pretty excited about that. Um, but I mean, I'll watch it with her just to say I did. I'm not much into some of those like Cruella. We actually liked that. Actually, wasn't a bad film. So, Let's see what happens. All right. So, continuing on here. So, we got some. Have you guys seen this? It's called Wellington Paranormal, and it's basically a supernatural com uh, comedy. It's basically Reno 911 meets X Files. It's Ooh, actually it's not that bad. It's actually pretty fucking hilarious. Yeah, you've seen it. Yeah, like it was. I think it's on the CW. Um, what's the director's name? It's it's all from New Zealand. Taika Waititi. Yeah. It's his show. I think I think it's yeah, his it's show. Gonna be, or if it like is, that. and he's going to be good because I I enjoyed that vampire movie that he did. Yeah, it's uh, uh, what we do in the shadows. Yeah. Oh my god, that shit still cracks me up. Oh yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, so they got that coming. <laughs> that that TV show's on right now. You can watch it on the CW. Okay. So it's actually not bad. It's actually pretty fucking hilarious. Beth and I were watching it. And like the first episode, like there was um like there was a demon that kept hopping bodies and then it got into a dog and then the dog started fucking attacking people and then uh the, the, throughout the episode, think of like 911 Reno 911 cops trying to chase a demon to try to exercise and then it just went crazy throughout the fucking episode. That was the first episode. And I was just like, I'm going to like this shit. Like, just weird off-the-wall shit. You could tell already by the um, the uniforms that's New Zealand. As a matter of fact, if you guys ever get a chance after the show, you guys have to watch the advertisement of how they recruit people in uh, New Zealand police force. It's fucking awesome. Like, it's, nice. it's the best commercial I've ever seen for, a, for an occupation mm -hmm. ever. Ever, hands down. I promise you. You guys would love it. All right, I'll definitely have to check that. Because those guys have a great sense of humor, man. <laughs> oh, they do. Uh, what wasn't it? Uh, yeah, what were those guys back in the day? Flight of the Concords. They were New Zealand, right? That show was right. fucking hilarious. So, um, so anyways, continuing on here. So, uh, some movie news for Transformers: Rise of the Beast. Some set images, and people called it Mirage, but it was a Porsche. Like, look at this. That's jazz. To me, that's well, jazz. Yeah, to, to everybody, to everybody, you know, for us who know who that is, mm -hmm. it's jazz. Now, I don't know why they won't give jazz any love. Um, considering that he was around, like if this continues in that timeline, mm -hmm. um, he was around at this time. And if you're gonna put a Porsche up on the screen, it's gotta be jazz. Being that you've already had a Mirage once before, like, mm -hmm. you know, there was, I don't know if you guys know that there was a whole big stink about uh, using the, the, the red Ferrari. Uh, there was oh, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a problem with calling it Mirage and they wound up naming it after Enzo Ferrari's son, Dino. So they wind mm -hmm. up using the name Dino in the movie, but uh, originally that was supposed to be Mirage. Um if you've already used the name and you already used another night, another likeness, I don't, I don't understand why you would take a Porsche and not call it Jazz. And that, that's kind of like the, uh, the stink that it's kind of causing in, in the TF community. This was hilarious. Oh, so continue. Speaking of New Zealand, uh, did you guys end up watching this? Did you watch did. this? Yeah, uh, Coco, did you end up watching this? The trailer, a little bit of it, yes. Dude, it was fucking hilarious. It's Dude, pretty funny. Website sucks. So you got Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds dressed up as Deadpool, and they were doing a reaction to his new movie coming out called Free Guy, and it had it had uh, oh fuck, what's his name? God. Korg. Yeah, it had Korg, uh, and they were sitting there basically just sitting there chilling. Like, what did you guys think of this? Like when you first saw this? I think I, I oh go ahead, Coco. I was gonna say it's a good good sign that that Deadpool is actually gonna make it to the MCU. That's all I can yeah. Say. I yeah. Right. And I I like the fact that they they uh, although I'm sure they did it for like budget reasons, um, I like the fact that they picked a character like Korg, 
because yeah. you know you know it, it brings Korg out to the light. Um, it puts him more in your face, mm-hmm. and then it kind of throws that little hint, like you know, Deadpool's got something working. Deadpool is he's officially in the MCU. And something is gonna go down. Something's being being put together. But now that the multiverse has opened up, like what the fuck is Deadpool gonna do? You know. I mean, you could you could insert. He was in so many different comic lines. You could you could insert him pretty much anywhere. Dude, can you just imagine like Deadpool like time traveling to when Thanos does the snap? <laughs> and then him getting the infinity gauntlet like you know the punchlines the punchlines when he shows oh up my and just God. Listen, listen testicle chin I'll be taking this yeah oh my god <laughs> oh my god I can see that shit too <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Jesus. I came back to see that <laughs> I, I would I would love to see them like he's getting ready to do the snap and then I could just see like something stupid like just like snap and then people get turned into like uh, uh, what is it the uh, little unicorn or something <laughs> fucking stupid you know like <laughs> anyway uh, continue on so you guys did you see that they are going to be bringing a New G.I. Joe animated series for 2022. Yes. Cool. What do you think of this? Uh, I don't know if it's because the last one kind of left a lot of taste in people's mouths that were not, that wasn't savory. Um, but this one I'm kind of meh about, you know, hopefully, hopefully the animation's good. I mean, the animation was good in the last one. Mm. I remember there was a, uh, there was a, a, a scene that I like to rewatch actually quite a bit where uh, Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes fight. And uh, I think that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty epic. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I know there's a snippet floating around the internet somewhere of the, of, uh, of an, of an actual part of the animation they did for this movie. Where mm. I think uh, Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes are uh, together uh, fighting against a separate enemy. And, uh, you know, they've got the gauntlets and Snake Eyes' mask is like a silver uh, instead of the traditional black. Um, I know there's a snippet floating around the internet. I, I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it yet. I'll have to search um, you what I can find it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow fighting, uh, we got tickets Thursday to go see Snake Eyes. Nice. Nice. I'm actually pretty excited to see it. So yeah, yeah, that's gonna be pretty epic. I mean, even if the movie sucks, there's still like ninjas and fighting, so you can't go yeah, too course. wrong by you know that at least. But yeah, are you guys gonna go check it out or no? I'm definitely gonna check it out. I'm so definitely gonna like, check it out. Voodoo, on sale. <laughs> voodoo, on sale. voodoo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna see first. I'm gonna see. Like when it first comes out, I'm gonna see what the reactions are, um, and that'll determine whether I fire stick it or if I go out and actually spend money at the theater. Because mm. it will be, if if that's the case, it will be the first movie I will go to a theater to see since since oh, the yeah. pandemic. Yeah. Like it, I mean, for the most part, like I'm pretty fair when it comes to movies. Like I any and I don't know if you heard this on I mean you've watched the show a while you've known me a long time like yeah. when I go into movies like I try not to think about shit too in depth like any social shit like any other bullshit I just want to go in there and zone out for two fucking hours and um, I try not to tie anything with any other fandom like any of the other bullshit so I think of it kind of its own standalone if it ends up showing something at the end that kind of piques my interest. That there's going to be something more that I'm good with it, but I mean, beyond that, we'll see. So I'll, I'll keep you guys in a loop how it goes Thursday. I'll give it a either, either I'll give it a big thumb up or a big fuck you, like one of those. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> for me, for me, it, what determines it for me is if it scores any higher than a seven, you know, like everybody giving it like anything seven or up, 
that's gonna determine whether I go to the theater. If it's if it's seven or up, I'm I'm gonna go watch it. I'm definitely gonna go. Well, watch dude, it. people are giving Fast Seven a seven, so or Fast Nine a seven. So yeah. Well, because you know why, <laughs> anything's possible. With I guess. Family. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we got to do a, a gift this week or something, an image with, like, all of us in, like, all the cars. Oh, we should do it to where it's, like, all three of us each in a car, like, racing. Or something. <laughs> and because, like, all the other, all of our other castmates are are um, not in it this week, we'll just show them at the end losing or something. Like <laughs> you got to put me in one of these. Oh, yeah. You, yeah you gotta, we'll have to find an image. <laughs> That's what's up. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll do that shit. Don't tempt me. Um, so, did you guys see that uh, Don Cheeto teased um, Armor Wars? Um, kind of interested about this. What'd you guys think of this? I know that there's some other series attached to it as well. Uh, what the heck was the name of it? Was it, oh, I thought they announced Armor Wars. I could have swore they did. I know there was Didn't some they? chatter. There was some chatter a couple of weeks ago about uh, you know, all the different armors and stuff like that. And I don't remember exact details, but I remember some noise about Armor Wars. But now I guess now because he mentioned it, it's 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 a concrete thing. Oh, fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. So. Is that the toy industry is cheering because if they the more show the different armors that they showcase the more toys that could be made. You know? Bingo. Figure arts is figure arts is like ging, 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 ging. yeah like, dude, like yeah they still haven't even finish out the shit from the last so set three. of like MCU films so mm -hmm. like I'm still I still got God they still like they got Star Boost a bunch of other shit they still haven't even released yet. I still want it like Midas, like the armor. I love Star Boost and Midas armors, and they haven't released them yet. So, uh, but this, this actually, this thing coming up interests me. I mean, I know a lot of people aren't a Zac Efron fan, but I'm actually a fan of this movie. Did you see that they're doing a Firestarter remake? And he's playing the dad. The, the Stephen King one? Yeah. It just, like, I would, it was funny because I was scrolling for news. This website's I guess I got to clear my porn history off my browser. <laughs> what I want to sign up for shit. Uh, so, anyways, um, Zach Efron plays Andy McGee, um, which is the little girl's dad. And so, what the fuck? Snake eyes just won't. But yeah, so here's the first image. See, so here's the girl. Um, played originally played by Drew Barrymore is now this other girl. Um, and so I'm kind of I'm kind of curious to see how this works. There was a picture here. There was somewhere. Yeah, it's basically it's a new ad, uh, adaptation of Firestarter from back then. So it's basically a remake. So I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Were you guys a fan of the originals or what? I did. I liked the original one. Um, and you know when you start, I've noticed. You know you don't. Oh, it's a hit or miss. You know you you. So many movies have gotten and, and been redone and rebooted or, you know, remade, and they just don't hit the same way. I don't know if it's uh, um, because we're yeah. nostalgic. Go ahead, Coco. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, man. Sometimes when it hits, it, 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 it's cool, but you're right. For the most part, it don't. a lot of them, they, they, they fumble that ball, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. It doesn't I, I'm create the scene. I, I actually enjoyed the most recent um, iteration of Carrie. I thought that was. That, yeah, that was, yeah, that was pretty good. good. If they do it right and they kind of update it a little bit for like change it up a little bit because some of the old storylines, like they were cool for back then, but now it's like. But if they, they add really, something. Go ahead. You, you're right, but because they really fumbled Pet Cemetery for me. I was, yeah, that yeah. was that was that was yeah, bad. that was that was uh, that was bad. 
and this and sadly the trailer was good They're like the trailer looked like it was gonna mm-hmm. it was gonna be pretty thing and i was like oh, what the heck? dude I'm, I'm telling you they need to have him be like wolverine or something or like johnny yeah. storm or some shit because dude he's got the beard and the guy's he's short he's like exactly. what, five nine five eight something like that um dude i'm I agree though. He would make a good Wolverine. Because you sure you just need to bulk up. Yeah. Well, I mean, there it shows you in the past. Like this dude, he's been like here's here's the first picture. No, I don't want to step on that shit. So if you kind of see here, it's kind of hard to see. But he um this is the first picture from the film right here on the left right here. It won't let me click on it for some reason. If if, if I remember correctly, he's the telekinetic, right? He can do make things yeah. happen with his mind yeah. and his he would he was wasn't it that the dad and the mom were the ones being experimented on by the government and then they ended up having the kid and kind of ran? Yeah, and she's she was the pyrokinetic. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But dude, look, like here, like he even looks like ripped in that picture. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He's actually a pretty ripped guy. He's uh yeah. I don't I don't know if you remember uh, what was that, Baywatch? Yeah, like dude, he was great. Like I'll, I'll pull it up for all the ladies that are watching, which I highly doubt. Um <laughs> Just for you, Chuck. <laughs> dude, so uh, dude, look at this. So here he was in like Baywatch. Like, look how fucking ripped he was. In yeah, dude, he's, he's, he's a pretty big kid. Pretty big kid. Uh, I mean, dude, look at him next to. Look how short he is next to the Rock. I mean, dude, they had him stand up yeah. and shit, but still, he's fucking ripped, dude. I can see him pulling off a. Of, look at that. Can you see him pulling off? Yeah, of totally pull off a of Wolverine. I think so. And then he, like, there's been a couple movies he did recently where um, uh, all the, uh, you know, ladies or not are excited to see that picture. But he, look, he's got, he's got, he could do a full beard. Like, he actually did a a show not long ago where he was kind of scruffed up. His hair was kind of, like, all wild and his beard was all wild and shit. So I'm kind of curious to see that. All right, so we'll continue on. So we're at hour thirty-nine. So we'll go on. We'll get into some toy news and some shit. You, you, you guys pick these up? These like one, uh, these arcade games, like arcade one up. Did you so see that so they're cool. doing an X Men? The four player, all four. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you get, dude. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm debating whether or not to get this. This was cool because this game was bad as shit back in the day. Yeah. Like with the joysticks, I can see this going at like JD and Chan's house or something like that, you know. Because they already got the turtle. Yeah. But apparently, you can buy it at uh, Target and some other places. So. That is cool. If I had room for that stuff here, man, oh, easily. Oh yeah. This right here. Right. So, I get that. The so. Simpsons. <laughs> the oh, that would be cool. The Simpsons one, like I would make a whole arcade in the basement. You know what I mean with all these? Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool to get. That game was so cool. Oh, the X Men one yeah. back in the day, dude. Remember when you were like Cyclops and you had that blast and it fucking filled the whole screen up? Oh, yeah. I mean, just yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Or like Wolverine when he started getting his claws out and he started fucking spinning around and shit and like tear shit off. Nightcrawler. Oh, there you go, right there. Yeah, yeah. Dipping around the swing. Oh yeah, and then you had like the Sentinels and shit. Remember? Mm-hmm. Like that, that, I'm sorry, but kids these days, I think they'd have a hard time trying to play. <laughs> like you don't yeah. know. So, um, I want to talk about these. What do you guys think about this Super Seven, Seven dropping? Inch. The fucking ultimates. They teased it, and then now um, Zartan. Let me, go, let me go to BBTS's site. I think it's cool that they did it for the niche, the guys who really love the toy accurate stuff. The I'm animation, the cartoon Look at this. accurate stuff. That stuff is cool. Looking. Look at that. I mean, that stuff is cool. Looking. The Cobra Commander alone looks, I think, looks the best out of all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. The way they did that skull, but like he has like the cape and everything. Now you see this bot. 
This the bot best. looks. The last time they dipped their hands into making one of these, it was a shot mistake. It was horrible. But oh, this yeah. here, this here, man. Granted, it was another scale figure. But this here. This here looks 20 times better than the last time they dipped their finger into this. Hmm. The bats. So it seems like Hasbro is doing the more like Cobra Island slash like and these are more like tune accurate. You know what I mean? Right. Like they're doing the other shit and they're doing tune. Right. And of course Mezco is doing like more realistic. So, I tell you what, it's crazy to be alive as a collector right now, especially with all like out of who would have thought over the last they they must have thought a lot of shit in the last year. Like we had such a shitty year in 2020. What can we do to make these nerds go ape shit? Oh, guess <laughs> what? We're gonna drop three different fucking versions of uh, GI Joes. We got fucking. Uh, cartoon coming, you know, you got like Thundercats, you got, you know, all that shit. Wild. Look at the accessories. Look at that. Yeah, dude. Now, yeah. I could see, I could see people breaking that shit. Where it's got, um, so see here, um, Yule, why don't you give our, our audio listeners a description of what this is we're looking at? Which part? Any of it. The- Okay, so it looks like which figure it, it looks and like this it looks like it's the the Cobra Bat. Um that was what season two stuff, like yeah. And it appears they got like all kinds of so it looks like they're gonna build all sorts of army for army builder. The it's gonna be an army builder friendly uh figure because it looks like it has a uh damage to the helmet version, excuse yeah. me. Um mm-hmm. damaged arm. Damage all sorts of different damaged uh, versions of these things. So if you have I like, like the, the little an electric. army of them, yeah, you'd see. The, yeah, one one side has looks like the there's electricity. Like when when the Joe shoot them with a laser, <laughs> the yeah, malfunctioning yeah, yeah. look um, looks like a arm. One of the arms looks like it's uh, just if, if it's ripped off, <laughs> hmm. and the neck looks like it, when the head was blown off, and all that's left is the. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the, the neck um, piece. Spark yeah. of electricity, you know. And, um, man, it looks like trigger hands, open hands, mm. bilateral, both, you know, and, and fists. So th- it looks like there's six set of six set of hands and one, one, one hand that looks like it's just <laughs> broken. And it looks like it even has a different I, – I remember that it, the, the claw, but I didn't re- re- realize that they had more different um, – trap jaw kind of like mm-hmm. accessories um one looks like a drill I, one I looks like a laser a or something like, like, mm-hmm. yeah like, like a laser or, yeah and it comes with a rifle and a and a uh blast a pistol blaster yeah, it's yeah. like a looks like a and it, it looks like it's inspired by a by mega by megatron kind of <laughs> oh yeah 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 <laughs> doesn't it Azer Luger or some shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right, so there's the. Yeah, box it's very right. toy really accurate. Cool. It's very cartoon accurate, guys. So if you for 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 you guys who if, imagine looking back at the cartoon, thinking back at the cartoon, what the bats look like, and mm. that's exactly what you're getting. Except I have to admit, I didn't remember their faces being red. I I could be wrong. I thought it was silver, but my memory. I honestly, me. I don't know. I think they were red. I think they were red. red. If I remember, if I remember correctly, I think they were red. But then Jay would never know because it would be great to him. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I don't know. (laughs) That Cobra Commander though, it looked amazing. It looked like I was watching television. Oh no, there's a wait a minute. Some of it shows. Okay, no, look, check this out. Like showing it shows in the animation, it was red. Uh, Is that red? I guess. Yes, that is correct. That's red. Yeah, you're right. But then the toy the was toy, silver. The toy was silver. Yeah, that's, that's why it's messing with me because I, I remember the toy being silver, and it was one of my favorite GI Joes that I never owned. Like I got to play every time I, I went to my cousins to play with is Joes. That was one of the ones I had a lot of fun playing with. Yeah, look at that. That one has it to wear. Oh no! Look, look, it's got all three attachments. Look at that right yeah. there. The drill, 
you got like the dildo gun. Oh, <laughs> I didn't want to say, but yeah, I, 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 that's uh, what I, mean, I get. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna. How much you want to bet they're gonna do a repaint to where um, oh, it'll have the silver face too? Like that way you can have different versions of them. Why not? Well, I don't know. Well, I guess because yeah, I, if they're going for tune accurate, they nailed it right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cobra nice Oh my god. Oh man. All you right. So Ralph, off. you take this one, dude. I am so literally tell, tell our audio listeners what we're seeing. We are looking at a uh metal uh, metal faced uh Cobra Commander uh red cape and it looks like an explosion from behind and he's got his cobra staff, he's got the, the, the black gauntlets, he's got the uh the, the, the cobra emblem on his chest with what looks like the uh, the button over uh, jacket like it literally looks like I'm I'm watching television. Uh, yeah. Matter of, matter of fact, his voice right now is in my head. Yeah. Um. You exactly. know. You mean Starscream? Like that? That. Uh, I'm hearing Cobra yeah, Commander's voice with the heavy. You know. Exactly. It. This is like amazing to look at i if it wasn't for the sections between the uh hips and the legs i would literally think i'm watching tv because uh oh you're talking about here okay yeah yeah Yeah, it's like looking at the cartoon Mm -hmm. he's raising his fist even even with the the leg what you got that leg the the leg thing was that in the original figure the leg the leg stripes that he has on his uh thighs yeah there's a, actually, if I remember correctly, there used to be a, a pistol that used to go on that. It was like a holster on his leg. Mm-hmm. And maybe they because I, I know in the cartoon that's too. that's in the animated, yeah, for sure those those stripes were there, which is why I was like, wow, they yeah. got that right. See what they really need to do. I hope that this cape is soft goods, and then it's got magnets to where you can put it on there. You know what I mean? Like built into the figure. So that way you could just magnetically pull it on and off. That'd be kind of badass. I doubt it, a, but that'd be cool. He's got a ton of accessories too. Mm-hmm. He's got a ton of accessories. He's got two different versions of the helmet, one without the stripe in the center. Mm-hmm. And he's got several hand pistols there down. I see it at the bottom. And one of them looks like the one that uh Megatron used to kill Prime. To kill oh, Scott. shit, you're right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was like, yeah. No wonder I almost cried when I looked at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the binoculars. He's got the binoculars and looks like a radio transmitter. I mean, every every episode pretty much he was inventing a device that would help him rule the world. So you know, yeah, this is all a lot of he's got a rifle. He's got a, a number of different hands, one for gripping pistols, one that looks like it's giving somebody the bird. Uh, he's got, <laughs> oh, no, this, like this one here, it's pointing, but the other one looks like it's like the jerk-off hand. Yeah, it looks it looks like he was taking care of himself. <laughs> then he's got one that looks like he's holding the, this, you know, holding up the live snake with, which... Oh, he's hold, that, that hand is for holding the staff. The staff. So yeah, it's he's accessorized. <laughs> he's accessorized to the, <laughs> He is accessorized yeah. to the max. And of course, you know, you get the uh you can see what parts of him articulate. He's got knees. It looks like looks like his knees, the hips. He's got a, a good ab crunch. He's got it looks a thigh like, swivel looks like Yeah, it looks like a thigh swivel. He's got he's got a lot of, looks like he's got a lot of moving parts. Which makes for some really awesome posing. I, I honestly, I'd have to jump on this one. When this this, this becomes, would be cool just to get as a one off, you know. Yeah, I mean? yeah. And then eventually, right. somewhere down the line, they're gonna have to come out with a hooded head. Oh, I don't know. Well, that was one of the things that popped up. Apparently, like Hasbro's refusing to do a hooded head. Don't tell and, me. Yeah, because of like they think it's problematic because <laughs> it's racist tendencies and i'm like what it was blue i'm Come like on. how the hell can you think the one hood is similar to the other because they're completely different he's disfigured come on he's got a big cobra emblem in the middle of the... Yeah. 
Wow. Cool this box. is why I, I, that's why I feel that they're probably going to do a hooded one for Super Seven because I don't think Super Seven, Super has Seven, those don't kind give of shit. restriction. Yeah. Yeah. Now see this Duke here. This Duke, he looks a little thin to me, but in this current pose where he is right now, he's doing the pose, the the pointed finger, and as I'm looking at it, it's like I'm watching the intro to the cartoon, and he's going yo yo, like it yo, really looks yo. like it looks like I'm watching the TV show, and I think they pulled that off pretty good. To me, it looks like he's got like explosive gas behind him. You see that? Like, <laughs> he just let one rip. He's like. It's pretty he just cool. got a, He just got out of the mess hall. <laughs> All he right. Had so. Yeah, pork and beans, and you know. <laughs> yeah. That look on his face. You see that? Yeah. Oh God, he knew, he knew his pants were blown up then. Like, uh, looks but like then, he's blocking the ISR on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's yelling. He's yelling at the cook. Screw you. <laughs> yeah. So he's got. So he's with his classic. Uh, Yellow and green and brown boots and everything else. He's got two. He's got the laser rifle. Look at that. He's got a yeah. machine gun and a laser yep. rifle. Oh, that's cool. They give you a watch as an mm -hmm. accessory, uh, some sort of transmitter. Uh, they give you two different head, three technically three head sculpts. Uh, they give you the helmet and binoculars, his backpack, and like four sets of hands. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a good looking box right there. Mm -hmm. I love their. Yeah. I love that they're using the same style box for everything. It'll mm -hmm. probably make it easy for stacking, putting shit away. Yeah, I like the little oh, dog tag cool. at the bottom of the box. Yeah, right. I like that it's a very simple box. I hope that it's like a foil stamp or something like that. You know? Right, right. That'd be kind of cool. Snake eyes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I yeah, this because. one kind of. This one kind of. I don't remember him anything. being that blue. No. <laughs> it it kind of looks like you could. You know what he really looks like? If you took the stripes off of here, dude, it looks like he could be like on Defenders of the Universe and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, so it comes with. Uh, timber which it looks like he's kind of articulated at the uh ankles there and let's see one two three four like 10 points of articulation i guess yeah so he comes with uh you know the laser rifle he comes with um the jet pack which is kind of interesting because i don't remember him having a jet pack i wasn't as maybe, big maybe as for person. one maybe for that maybe for one episode Maybe for one episode, but I, I don't remember him having like a permanent. But then again, I don't remember him being blue either. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a weird I, color I think scheme to me. That was his earlier rendition, and then eventually remember, and I think they burn it, and he eventually turned. They they give him the one with the night, the more night. Yeah. Kind of, uh, this is like more of like the commando esque type style, like the original one. So the box art looks good. I like it. I mean, you know, just the picture. Of it. Mm -hmm. That was it for those. Yeah, like um, I was gonna, I want to show, I wanted to show that this is the snake eyes that they're making for the toy, right? Yeah. And um, the snake eyes that I think followed after they burned his suit was this one, the more the one that right. I think you guys more recognize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably started watching Snake Eyes when it was that suit, like Joe, yeah. G.I. Joe, when it was that, because I don't remember the purple one. See, now that's another thing. Like before, what was happening to Yule with the toy throwing him off? I remember early on, the toy was black, and then the goggles yeah. were gray. <laughs> yeah. The little goggles were gray. So now that the cartoon, I didn't remember the cartoon being blue. So I guess I kind of, you know, got them crisscrossed, threw me off a little bit. Yeah, threw me off big time. <laughs> All right, so we'll continue on here. Let's get to, through some more shit. So did you guys see... Let's see here if it's going to fuck up. Do, 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 do. Uh, Hot Toys Deadpool, the armored version. Did you guys see this shit? That is looking pretty interesting. I that have to looking, say, I kind of almost want it. I kind of almost want to pick it up. It's badass. 
just yeah. for a one-off. You know what I mean? I, I don't collect. Like I have, like I'm doing a, six, a couple of six scale Joes that are just ninjas. That's it. Um, most of them, I, but dude, just this thing alone makes me want to get this. I can't see it, guys. Whatever it is that you're looking at. All right, hang on. Let me go back to this. I thought it was. Oh, there you go. Like, a, <laughs> like an <laughs> asshole. I'm looking at it. I'm like sharing it. I'm like, oh, I love the way this thing looks. And all I see is me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there like sharing, like looking at the screen. I just realized, looked over, I'm like, "Oops, I fucked up." That's um, pretty, yeah, dude, this thing looks good. That's pretty interesting. Yes, that that's a really good looking. That's great. That would be a cool one to put next to the uh, uh, War Machine Punisher. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Just have like one offs like that, just to throw it. Jesus, look at that. DP. I hope that they give you like a armorized version of a unicorn with it. <laughs> God, look at that. Looks good. It that does look good. Be the, he'd be the Batman of Marvel as far as like toys. Like they make so many different versions of <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Deadpool over anybody else. Well, you know, because of Ryan Reynolds making it like crazy popular again, mm-hmm. had nothing to do with Rob Reinfeld. Uh, Linefeld, so looks good. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not into them. I'm not into hot toys as much, but it's definitely tempting me. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, yeah, that thing looks great. Wow, that's wild. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. All right, so continue on with some more hot toys. We got some. Let's see if I can keep sharing. <clears throat> Did you see this No Way Home? This interesting looking black and gold suit from Spider Man. I'm not into it, man. I am not into it. Yeah. I am not into it. That weird looking gauntlet. It's just I'm not I'm not into it. I'm not into the black and gold. Yeah, I don't know. I just yeah, I don't I'll get it. it. The weird emblem in the chest. It's like some yeah. weird Doctor Strange shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's... For me, the jury's still out on this. I'm not... It's interesting, because look at the textured pattern. They're different mm-hmm. emblems, or, or different symbols. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I think they're trying too hard to sell uh, different figures <laughs> on this one. Well, they're gonna do a shit ton of this because of the whole multiverse coming up. Mm-hmm. But it's weird, yeah. like all this is black and gold, and then the gauntlets, I guess. Uh, the, yeah, they're, they're red. Oh, they're red. They're red. Okay. Yeah, they're okay. red. Black and gray. I don't know. I'm not into that. But you know, yeah, what it is. Mm. no. To each their own. Did anybody wants to get them? I'm glad that Not you want it. Funko Pop version. I wouldn't get a Funko yeah. Pop version of that. <laughs> yeah. uh, did you guys see here also? Victory? That, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Victory. Yeah. What do you think of that? Uh, it's going, there's all kinds of speculation as to like who it's going to be. Sky Gary and uh, some people are saying... Uh, mm-hmm. Victory, Victory Leo. Um, but if it's a HasLab project, it's going to have to be pretty big. So I'm thinking maybe a combiner or, uh, you know, something that was huge. Victory something that, <laughs> Yeah, something that was big. Yeah. Something Victory that was Saber. big. Whatever it is, this will probably be my first HasLab product. This will probably be something I get into. Oh yeah, because mm. I, I didn't I didn't go in on Unicron, and uh, you know I'm I'm not regretful of it either, mm. because to me it's not so much the retail price. For me, it was uh that scale um, to have Unicron. Yeah, it's cool, but if you know if I got any of these guys behind me or uh, 
Omega Supreme or somebody standing next to them, and they're kind of the same size. It kind of just like makes me go, yeah. Exactly. Now, had had one of those companies like Lewin Resources or somebody like that made a four and a half foot Unicron, oh, I'm in. Fans, I mean, you're I'm listening I'm to <laughs> us. If you are listening to us, do one. They'll really make, piss off Hasbro then. So. Oh, yeah. If somebody gets their hands on the prints for this or even build one right off the bat, I mean, if somebody does something like that right off the bat, I mean, I'm saving for as long as I, I'm going to back that sucker because, you know, four and a half foot, five foot Unicron. Oh, yeah, that's happening. Totally happening. What the hell? Someone randomly sent this link and it doesn't go to anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was supposed to be what the link was supposed to go to was Hasbro Pulse that Zartan, the color change. Mm. Um, did you guys look at that at all? What all it yeah, came that thing looks pretty sick. On the sunlight, it turns like a really like a it it, it like a color temperature. Or something. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick looking. Let's see if it nice. It looked it looked like it had a nice head mold too. Let's see if it'll go back because they even changed the outfit on them. Also, if you go back here, let me see if it'll pop up. There we go. There he is. The outfit is even different, slightly different with different color. Yeah. I think that's more of like the cartoon color, isn't it? Mm hmm. But they kind of show you. Um, when he, you when get, he darkens up, though, he looks really awesome. It's wicked. Yeah, I'll show the picture in a second. So, it, what's interesting, so look, they got the classic gray snake eyes. Um, They got uh, what else? They had a couple different faces over here, like these three faces. This one came with it originally, but then these two are new. And then it's kind of interesting because now it's got Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes yeah. in that one. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. But dude, look, at, here, here's before the color change, right? And then now this is what it looks like. After. Boom, look at that. That's what, That's what happens when you expose them to the sun. You're just going to yeah. turn blue? Yeah. That's what yeah. It's, it's, cut, it's temperature based, it says. Um, let me go here. What did they say? Okay. Um, Master of Disguise Zartan action figure is heat sensitive to heat and cold and will change colors in cold weather and warm weather, warm water. Oh, so it's just like the toy back in the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, people are gonna go ape shit over that. They they probably put the first one out, and they were just people went nuts because they didn't do that at first. Dark hat's cool. Uh, it says it's coming soon, and it's thirty six ninety nine. Any in any, any of you in on this at all? I I don't collect the GI Joe line. And the only reason I don't is because I don't want another rabbit hole. Yeah. But, but you know, I am a fan of certain characters. And since I already have Snake Eyes, this is one of those characters that I liked. Uh, Zartan, Tomax, and Zayma. Like, these were characters mm -hmm. that I kind of liked. So I, I may I may be in on this. Yeah, I mean, it is, would, you know, it's only, we'll what, 10 bucks fast. more? I'm sorry? It's only 10 bucks more than what the other Yeah, right? yeah. And you get all that shit, and it's color mm -hmm. changing, and you get more weapons. He looks great. Mm -hmm. He looks pretty good. And this, I have a feeling that this is, you know, with typical Hasbro, Hasbro Pulse fashion, this is going to sell out, like, in a minute. Like, this will be gone. The scalpers and, are just, like, chomping oh, yeah. at it to get this. Those shit. bots will be killing this thing. And uh, we'll be right back where we usually are with Hasbro. Uh, you know, trying and then to they'll release it at Target. Yeah, <laughs> Target, Walmart, and everybody else will have it, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Hasbro uh, Pulse Premium people will get it six months after they see it on the shelves already. But yeah, this will, this will, <laughs> this, this is gonna, this is gonna sell yep. out quick. Oh, this yeah. is gonna be done fast. All right, so we got two more things, and that is it for the week because we're on two hours and six minutes right now. So Masters of the Universe showed a and. Uh, Coco, you might want to talk about this. It looks like it's uh, a Revelation. Scare Glow was I, I, isn't the, is that the SDCC exclusive or, or something? Yes, like it that? is. 
I feel bad for collectors because Scarecrow is a pretty popular enough character, mm-hmm. and they decided to make him a gosh dang exclusive. But it's a good looking exclusive, which probably makes it even worse because he actually does look like he's glowing in the dark. His cape is all over the place, which I love. It looks like it's a wired cape, to be honest. Look at that. You see this right here? Mm-hmm. It looks like they got wires right here and all the shredding. Is in there. Oh, and it, it's black light sensitive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is gimmick. He's a, he's a glowing <laughs> scarecrow. Looks great. Of them all, he's the one who probably looks the best so far that I've seen of all the... Mm-hmm. Um, Masters of the Universe Revelation figs, actually. Um, it's interesting I, he's got the sword right there. Dare I say that he's he, he looks almost as good, if not better, than God-level Skeletor. So. Yeah, I was going to say that. Oh, look awesome. at that. That's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. That's pretty awesome. I remember as a kid loving weird shit like that. As an adult, not so much, but you know what's going to happen. I'm going to try to get it anyway. Of course. He's a nice one. He looks great. Look at that. Oh, that box that art looks right. phenomenal. That is a nice one. I believe that the, the box art was done by um, Eamon O'Donoghue. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a known uh, super fan in the, in the groups. So mm-hmm. it's between him and Emiliano Santalucia, who are always... Uh, doing some kind of thing for Hasbro or, you know, I'm not Hasbro, Mattel. Well, Emiliano is Hasbro while <laughs> um, Eamon does like Mattel stuff these days. Mm-hmm. So, mostly He-Man so, stuff. Yes. Yeah. So. Oh my God. So it's going to be like 35 bucks roughly. Oh, interesting. So I'm reading here. It goes, the figure, the figure comes with our articulated layer of blah, 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 extra hands. Special LED box includes purple and white lights to showcase the glow in the dark effects. Wow, that's kind of cool. That is cool. Um, so you could just keep it in the box, the mint and box collectors can just keep it like that and just let it glow just inside the box. That'd be cool. Let it glow, let it glow. <laughs> oh, god, let it glow. <laughs> Oh, all right. Fuck it. This week, uh, the new image is going to be uh, you, uh, Coco just wearing this get up, and then it's going to be us in the background dressed up as like the girls from the. Uh, I, I, I asked for it. I asked for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I deserve so. this. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Try so, to- last thing here, and it's a big deal. Um, <laughs> Galactus is, is coming. Haslab? How, so how big is that? 32 it's inches. 32 inches tall. 32 dude. inches, dude. Oh. Yep. The, the size of a, of a Titan. Like he's very big. Look oh, at wow. that. That's a six boy. inch Marvel legend right next to it. Holy shnikes. Yeah, that thing is. I think it's going to be heavy as shit. Yeah. What is it, like 70 something points of, of, of articulation? articulation? Yeah, like the fingers are articulated, yeah. like everything. Dude, you it, it looks like he's big enough you could give a hug to in real life. <laughs> <laughs> it depends who you are, but yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah, the articulation and the... All the different face swaps. The, look face, at the detail, oh man. Looks great. Yeah. Over 300 pieces right? That would piss people off, but it's just 70 points of articulation. I'm sure, I mean, you had to put Unicron together and you saw the size of box he came in, so this 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 is a big boy, so I'm sure he's oh, going to have some stuff to put together. Yeah, articulated those knuckles, fingers. Scary. Look at that. Yeah. Looks like he's about to harness a Hadouken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, the, head, look, the head has LEDs and looks like the chest. Yeah. That face. So that shows you a six inch Marvel Legend compared to him. Look at the size of that shit. Isn't Unicron that same height? Uh, like Unicron. I think, yeah, I think he's like 34, 32 or 34. Inches. That'd be a good match. That'd be a cool display setup <laughs> showing <laughs> them two fighting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let, let's get, I'm kind of curious. So it, it dropped what Friday, right? Mm-hmm. So let's go. 
Go to Hasbro Pulse. See what it's at currently right now. But let's go to HasLab, see what Unicron is. It's currently being funded. It's only been what three or two days and it's halfway there already. Yeah. It's still forty three days left. So as if this wasn't think, as if this wasn't gonna fund, like you knew it was gonna fund. This is definitely gonna get the backers. This is definitely like this is one of the ones where I'm just like, I don't know, maybe I should get this one. Yeah. Like I know like Unicron, okay, that's cool. I love Unicron. I wasn't as big into Unicron except the movie. But this one is like a really big deal. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Especially like you could put this with I don't know, the Mezco Fantastic Four. Mm -hmm. And I hope, I absolutely hope that Mezco drops a Silver Surfer at Mezcon coming up. Uh, actually, what is it, next week? Like Mezco's having their con version or whatever it is. They're going to do a bunch of reveals and everything else next week. Dude, I love it because it's it could be a statue, but it's not. It's an actual playable freaking toy. Yeah. It's a toddler. Yeah, uh, it is. It's, and it's you could put that thing <laughs> and go th you could put that thing in your seat and go through the toll road down here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can you just imagine look on that person's face like they snap a picture and you go to look at that? Or you get pulled over and they snap a picture of that, like you speeding, and then they see that shit in your passenger side. Like well, I'll tell you what, if I was a cop and I saw that. I'd have been like, you know what? I got to give you props. I'm not even going to go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Galactus is your passenger? So oh, do yeah. you <laughs> So do you think, um, because I missed out on the Sentinel, right? The Sentinel is what, like a good 10 inches shorter than this one, I think, from mm -hmm. what I understood. I missed out the Sentinel. I don't think I'm going to miss out on this one. Um. But it looks like there's 43 days left. Do you think that they're going to do the add-on shit like they did with Unicron? Like add some extra tiers once they hit the target? They might. They'll probably throw in a Silver Surfer. <laughs> oh, yeah? Them. Or the different her other different heralds like Fire Lord. Or <laughs> so it, it's funny that you said that. So I ended up, I was going through and I was scrolling and looking at this. This could be possibility of the first add-on tier of this uh, so here you go the first the first has lab and look it comes with silver surfer nice <laughs> or does it <laughs> so i ended up hey, as soon as this announced i knew i was going to do this shit right away so nice. i shout out to rust the Muzz. he fucking eight silver surfer sure. <laughs> so i ended up going through and showed this and i started putting it around the groups i was like dude did you guys see this i was like oh my god it's gonna the first tier looks like it could be like silver surfer and everybody's like flipping out and they're like no way and i sent the picture like this and no one paid attention that it was rust the bus for me. <laughs> so um and then he hit me up and he's like fuck you lowry <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember what his beef was with, with Silver Surfer. I but... can't remember. I can't remember, to be honest. And, like, every like every once in a while, like, I'll do, like, gifts and memes and shit with, like, him in there. with it, so. all, right, all right. It's, like, been two and a... Three hours and... Range. Yeah. <laughs> Carter. Um, yeah. So... I'm sorry, folks. I'm glad you. I'm hoping you guys uh, enjoyed our episode. You know this episode for, for today. Um, mm -hmm. We'll be uh, doing this again next week. You guys will be receiving this on Thursday. We record on. A, yep. We recorded this on a, on a Sunday. 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 Yep. <laughs> yep. Sunday. Sunday. Uh, so shout outs to our friends and in, in all the groups that we're at. You know between the rock and the. Um, the hardcore collectors and uh, mm -hmm. um, and uh, gosh dang it, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost as to all the other different groups that were a part Shout of. Shout out to the third party crash. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Third party crashers, third party unlimited, done by our boy Anton. 
Yeah, yeah. Shout out dope. to him for doing that. Yeah. Um, so, Raph, where where can we where can we find you at, my friend? Uh, well, you can find me uh, in the in the toy groups under Ralphie the Vendetta. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Ralphie the Vendetta Rodriguez, or on Instagram under Ralphie the Vendetta and uh, V's Toy Box, V-S underscore Toy Box. Uh, and that's where I sometimes will share photos of, you know, random stuff I got floating around the room here. Uh, other than that, uh, you can catch me here on Sundays with my two favorite people in the world. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next, next, to my, next to my kids and my wife. And uh, other than that, thanks for having me, guys. Man, hopefully, always, okay. dude. I'd, you know, I'd like, I'd like to have you here more often, man. If that's awesome. That's, you know, so Thank you. Please. That means a lot. We, we'll, we'll, get some, lot. we'll get some stuff in the works. Don't worry. Uh, that means a lot, you. And uh, you, Jay, where, you know, where can we find you at? Uh, apparently, you can find me at a dispensary now. Um, <laughs> Uh, I forgot to give the, I forgot to tell you guys, but I don't know if I told it last week or, or not. I can't remember. <laughs> no, I haven't smoked yet. Or nothing. Um, so long story short, I went to the, disp- did I tell you guys the story about going to the dispensary? So long story short, uh, no, it was Thursday. I went to the dispensary on my way home from work. I was like, you know what? I got my card now. Uh, I wanted to pick up some CBD oil, whatever else. So I end up going to uh, the dispensary on my way home and i you know i get in there made the appointment went in and i was sitting there talking with the the on-site doctor about what's going on with, you know they kind of reviewed my records everything else just like a regular doctor's visit but then it was really weird because um i want to make my own cbd so i ended up buying the flower so i can make my own uh, reading about it and stuff like that so i can make my own stuff and it was really weird to buy weed in front of a sheriff. Uh, there was, there were cops there that sit inside. They were, they were, they were doing under, they were doing security basically, like just sitting there chilling. And so I was just sitting there, and I'm at the doctor, and I'm paying the doctor cash to get the stuff. And so I'm paying the doctor cash, and I'm looking over at the cop, looking at the doctor. <laughs> at the cop like waiting like get busted or something but dude it's really weird so yeah i um ended up doing that um because of everything that happened the last year with me they ended up take changing some of the medication to go to some of the cbd stuff and so far it's taken away like migraines um, mm. my chest has calmed down I'm not hurting as much like stuff like that so um it's been everything's been working so far I mean, I'm not going to get crazy in it because I just I just don't do that. So. But, I'm sure uh, it does wonders for your liver versus all the opiates that they usually take. Dude, to it's get like the comp- I I was taking nine pills a day to wow. function because of the liver shit. workout, bro. And now, now I'm just like my liver's thanking me, my kidneys are thanking me. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just crazy. So, anyways, long story short. Anyway, that's cool <laughs> you can you can find me every week with the nerds have spoken love you guys uh, some uh, some of the other guys couldn't make this week it's all good you know shit happens anybody pop on anytime anybody's welcome to come on anytime they want just let us know hit us up if you want to be a guest or something just let us know uh, yep. just hit one of us one of the cat our cast mates up and you'll be able to pop on with us we'll set something up uh, right now we're looking for people for in august we're kind of booked till like August first or something like that, or fifteenth. I can't remember which one it is. Um, but just hit us up if you want to come on. Just bullshit with us. Come hang out. Um, shout out to the Total Package Podcast. Uh, my wife and them—they're going to be taking a break for a while. They'll be back hopefully soon. Um, there, go to their YouTube channel. Kind of check them out. Everything. So, um, shout out to you guys this week and the rest of the cast. Uh, uh, Ralphie, it's a pleasure having you on, dude. I mean, Thank I've known you. you for what? How many years now? I mean, <laughs> oh, geez. 2015, 16, something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. So, um, it's a pleasure to have you on here, and you know, you're welcome back anytime. Thank you, Mario. Thank you. Um, I you enjoy know, this. 
maybe things could be permanent. We'll see what. Uh, we'll, we'll see how you like. That either. <laughs> you, um, you can't some cats. Oh with yeah. That. <laughs> stroke. I got to stroke the beard. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I mean that's it. Pretty much it for me for the week. Uh, be sure to check out all of our friends at the Rama Collectors, ETR, BTM, all those shows. Um, Nerd Life. Uh, check them out. Good, you know, good friends are there. Um, uh, Blackout and Shout. Also check out Third Party Crashers. That's right. Hint, hint. <laughs> that <don't> by me. <laughs> uh, yeah, hint, yeah. You uh, and I kind of run that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Jay. <laughs> yeah, we we've been doing it for years, yeah. like secretly. So, um, be sure to check that out. And that is it for me. What about you, Coco? Well, you can find me here mostly, and when I'm not here, <laughs> with the nerds have spoken. I'm at my YouTube videos on Wednesdays doing new comic book day at Coco Smooth 619 and Coco Smooth at Instagram. Um, I'm really not as active on the Facebook groups. I usually use that more as research to see what's happening on all things, you know, relevant to the shit that we like, you know, all the nerd, all the nerd stuff. Come on, you know you're trolling. Don't lie. I, <laughs> I can't. I think you know, the, the truth is. I, I, I try not to want to see the worst part of the people that I used to, you know, I won't say used to, but, you know, that I, that I, that are my network, you know, I'm just, I just don't want to be involved in none of the politics because. Yeah. Fuck politics. You know that I mean? shit's all, up. Yeah, all, all, yeah all man. That, stuff. that stuff's tired. It's, yeah, it's a killer for me. Religion and politics. politics. That's the two things I don't talk about with friends and family because that shit yeah. just ruins it. Some guys can't help themselves, so they just post all of that stuff all day. Can't stop. They, they, they're like crusaders <laughs> of, of some kind of thing. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah, I'm quiet. I'm just because I don't want to. I don't want to argue with people about these kind of things. So, dude, every time people post like random shit like that, I'll just post like a gif saying Jesus is watching. Like, just <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, you you only catch me really in the 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 Facebook groups. You know, usually giving loves and likes to like people going through some real shit. Like if somebody says that their cat died or, you know, kind of like Mike's, you know, died recently. Yeah, shout out to him, him, dude. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. It's hard to hear about uh, uh, you ended up losing Rogue, your cat, man. Poor Rogue, yeah. yeah that, uh, and I used to listen to his cat show up on the on the podcast and yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I know, yeah. Kind of, so to see him suffer through this, you know, you know, broke, you know, kind of broke my heart too. So, I mean, believe me, um, it, 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 it may not feel like it, but I have I have been paying attention, and man, my heart aches with anybody who you know who loses and have people that are hurting or that that kind of thing. Um, uh, the, the, the problem with me is that I I, I in my job there's a lot of <laughs> sadness that it's that I that I've that I and since I'm empathic, I have a tendency to to absorb more. You know, a lot of people's you know baggage, and it's it really not good for me. So, yeah. I you know I process things kind of weirdly and find myself being more reclusive just because, so I could not allow that energy to to balance you know out, yeah. To, yeah to, to to balance out. So, other than that, yes, uh, I know we going the, the outro is going all yeah the outro is <laughs> long as shit this week. Shit. <laughs> so much so that it's almost a half hour. That's all right. Well, I'll cut. I'll cut. I'll cut out shit. It doesn't matter. Right. At any rate, folks. Um, you know. Uh, I think I'm supposed to say, you know, the nerds have spoken. So, <laughs> see y'all next week, folks. Have fun. See you next time. Be easy, guys. <laughs> <laughs>